And why is he aiming it towards us? I thought that was the dragon killer longbow. Yeah, they're great bows. Dragons are cool. <laughs> Not in Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> they're but assholes in Dark that. Souls. <laughs> So that's the other thing with uh, Bloodborne Beard, is that the hardest bosses in the game are in the Chalice Dungeons. Oh, yeah. God, they were so insane. Well, Chalice, chalice Dungeons were meant to be, like, game. an infinite mode after you complete the game. They weren't infinite. Yeah, they were. Every Chalice Dungeon had a bottom. Yeah, but there's a billion of them. No, every single one had a bottom, and there were only eight different types of Chalice Dungeons. Really? Yeah, there was a bottom boss at every oh, single chalice I thought they were dungeon. infinite. And if you got to the bottom of the chalice dungeon, you got a really, really ridiculous uh, stone, bloodstone or whatever. Mm -hmm. I thought it was infinite. No, they had in, uh, there was also a unique boss that was only at the end of the... Yeah, I one. heard that the, like one of the hardest ones was like the blood-starved beast. Uh, so he was the second. Yeah. Uh, the hardest one in the game, though, was the uh, queen. Which queen? The blood queen. You actually got to fight the mother of the baby. I love how creative oh, they are. Go. Everything is like Take blood something. Oh, Bloodstone. Blood queen. Blood dragon. <laughs> <laughs> blood. Everything is blood. All the blood. It's blood. Blood. <laughs> Chat, just be like... Uh, Fair uh, the old blood. I bit it down. Just this. Get the beard in on the shot. Hey. <laughs> Blood! Blood! <laughs> I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's not real life. see OJ? We can see OJ. Oh, I gotta move up so I can actually see chat. I did this. You did vape niche. Vape niche. <laughs> so is many this way or is it this way? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's vape. Look, it's, it's vape niche. It's like that. That's what I thought. Yeah. You're doing it sideways. Why are you doing it sideways? Because I didn't feel like. Thousand Sun, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> to to Dark Joker. Souls. <laughs> Survive the flight. Yet again. What is this? I still That's don't why. know. I still don't know if this is the molten gargoyle or the normal gargoyle. Chat will know. I think he's the molten one because his chest has that scar, and he opens up his chest. Oreo. Oh yeah, that is the molten one. Dell, you That's sexy mofo. I love you too, Oreo cookie. Oreo cookie. Hey guys, welcome. Anchor Joe here. Welcome, welcome. So I'm gonna adjust these cameras here. Oh, I was getting beard on it. <laughs> I'd already adjusted it. No, just not enough. Okay. It's 3 a.m. in the UK. Welcome, guys. I came from the future. <laughs> I, um, I got the donations and the subs thing potentially fixed over here, because if, if you guys are a regular on our board game show, you'd know that uh, for some reason we haven't been able to get that to work. So I think I've got it working uh, today, so hopefully we can test that out. Uh, but yes, welcome to uh, the board game uh, game night stream. Uh, we've got... An advanced copy, well actually the Kickstarter is shipping now, so um, two backers. We've got a copy of Dark Souls the board game. And the first thing that you see when you open up the box is what? Where is it? Papal! <laughs> you died. You <laughs> died. You died immediately. Immediately that you are greeted with, you died. So, uh, we're gonna die a lot, is what's going to happen. So, I am uh, not. take those off the board real quick, and we'll do that. Okay. 
Welcome, welcome. Uh, this will be our first play, so we'll probably get some of the little rules and bits wrong, but I have read through it. And, um, and Del will sort of show you some of the miniatures in the game, close to the camera, uh, right now. Del, what's well, in the game? Will I? Oh, well, wow. Well, first, let's start with our player characters. <laughs> so let's talk about the player characters. We got ourselves our handsome knight over there, Joe. We got our assassin. So show, show the characters on oh, the camera. Oh, characters. Okay, I thought you just meant like what we were playing as. Let's see. So we got Joe playing the knight. Nice little knight going on there. Some knight of action. Course. Yeah. It's feeling pretty good. You got your uh, your herald, which is other Joe. Is going to be our sexy female caster of the party. <laughs> just thought you should know. What, what is that oh, class? Do? Herald is a faith <laughs> right? class. Uses like spells and healing. I have a lot of faith. Throws lightning. Have faith in OJ. Okay. Beard's going to be our warrior. You know, big ass warrior. Got yeah. Ass. Down. Down. Oh, yeah, Lord. Go. <laughs> Weird. Got it. Cool. Go down. What does he do? Kills things. Yeah. Okay. With an axe. That's pretty much it. And then I'm going to be the assassin. Also, I got it wrong. This is the assassin. Yeah. And this is the herald. See, there's the sexy female herald. Gotcha. Got it. Cool. Yep. So, uh, Dex. Strength. Now, me and Joe, we don't know shit about Dark Souls. Uh, I'm not really a fan of the video game because I think the lore a little less interesting kind of confusing little behind the scenes you die over and over you grind it's a it's a definitely a hardcore uh, game it's got loyal fans but it's just not for me however I started to enjoy it and appreciate it more when Bloodborne came out uh, and Bloodborne I could get into that story a little more you got the, the sort of a Cthulhu type world uh, and me and Joe actually got good uh, at, at Bloodborne, and we took over those scales into Dark Souls. But again, the Dark Souls world didn't really appeal to me. Uh, but we have two mega fans of the Dark Souls here with us today. We got Anger Beard from Anger Beard Stream over there on Twitch, and we've got Dell from our streams. And you guys have recently been playing Dark Souls on yep. stream. What the hell's going on there? DLC came out. What is it? The Ring City. The Ring City that ends the entire story of the game. Really? They're done. So Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, the done. stories, are yep. done? They're done. Or isn't 2 different from 1 and 2? Oh, they're all connected. They're just different timelines, but they're done. Timelines. They're done. Okay, so we won't see a Dark Souls 4? Nope. We'll j it'll be something like different, you know, like yep. a Demon's Different Souls universe, yeah. The other one. It'll be I'm like sure it. they want, they, although he said he's done with the Souls universe. He says he's just done with it. Well, so, yeah, after the DLC, it's kind of done. He's probably going to make a new <laughs> Yeah, he just says he up. doesn't want to do it. He wants to do a new IP, and I think he's probably going to do Kingsfield. Something so, something with the same similar mechanics? Yeah. This? He okay. doesn't want to do the universe, though, right. anymore. Well, okay, good. Uh, well, not good. No, I'm just <laughs> good that it's over with. You yep. get a complete story. Uh, and now we get to play it out here in the board game form. So the board game will come with this, you know, these boss fights. Uh, which is what they've been demoing at different uh, uh, conventions. This is by Steamforge Games. It was Kickstarter, one of the most successful Kickstarters ever. I mean, well done, guys. $5.4 million. Wow. You guys who Jeez. love Dark Souls love the hell out of this franchise. I think what really contributed to this success, not only is it a hot IP, but also Steamforge has got, uh, they're, they're a UK company, and they got backgrounds in miniatures, and their miniatures are absolutely beautiful. Out of this world, man. Like, really, really nice fucking miniatures. You can't really see because these are webcams, uh, but but pretty nice quality. So they had the advantage of probably just getting the character models yeah, and 3D directly printing from them the directly game. from the game. Which yeah. We, yeah. we have to. I can only hope to be as successful as these guys, and, and hopefully we are as successful as these guys. Uh, when my board game comes out, if you guys know, I've been developing a Street Fighter. Uh, we've been in talks with Mortal Kombat and DBZ to get a miniatures game going for that. Um, but yeah, so welcome to the stream. We're going to be playing Dark Souls, uh, the board game version. We've got it all set up here. I'm the knight, Joe, Harold, warrior, assassin. And we've already chosen the bosses we are going to go against. Or if, I mean, we can let you guys choose. Tell them what characters are in the game and maybe hold it up to that camera. Uh, that'll probably, or give me the characters and I'll, I'll hold it up. Let's see. All right. Yeah. Toss that over so to you. So do you, do you know what these characters are? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to hold this one up. So the game is among one of the most expensive board games I've seen. 
like I've been, you know, strategizing how much to sell board games for. As you can see, my house is completely littered with board games. The highest board game I have, probably about a hundred bucks. This is now the most expensive board game I've ever bought. This is $120, the base set. And then you can go in for the expansions and shit, which I did because I was thinking, you know what? I like the Dark Souls game, but just not the video game. Maybe I'll like the board game because I love board games so much. And they have an Invaders expansion where you can do PvP. Because uh, what we're going to do right here is cooperative. So, what the hell is this thing? That is the Titanite Demon from Dark Souls 1. He's by Blacksmith. I forget his name. Uh, these models are huge Blacksmith. and detailed. So you can paint these bad boys. They are amazingly mm -hmm. detailed. And then this guy is like a... Face. Girl, Fucking thank you. Skinny uh, the dancer, that's of, Boreal the dancer of the Boreal Valley. Aha. Uh -huh. She's from Dark Souls 3. The Titanite Demon's Dark Souls 1. She hard? Oh, yes. extremely. Extremely hard. Okay. I think they're all hard. What about this guy? <laughs> that's just a winged knight. He's not even a boss. He's just a winged knight from well, Dark Souls 3. in this 3. game, he is a mini boss because yep. they make him a little powerful. He's hard to defeat you. So what we're basically going to be doing, we've got our bonfire here. And, you know, this is our sparks. And we have a little area for the souls that we're going to collect. So we go into these encounters. We reach the mini boss. Kill it. Yep. Go back to the bonfire. Go through more encounters until we reach the main boss. Uh, and what is this? That is, I don't know his name fully. He doesn't have a name when you play against him. But yeah, he's a knight in the bottom of a tower. Oh, and he has dead. a frost sword. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got a tiny one. Yeah, the Irithyll. Irithyl that is a uh, an Orlando knight. Hmm. All right, here you go. And then you got those two. Now, so what we're actually, the mini boss that we've chosen, so what you do first is you choose your mini boss that you want to go against, yep. and you choose your main boss. The mini boss we have chosen to go against looks freaking amazing, crazy. That's the gargoyle. We're going to go up against the gargoyle. Yep, from Dark Souls 1. Followed by... Everybody's favorite, Smo and Ornstein. The hardest in the game. Yep. We're gonna do... Well, shit, we're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> the gargoyle is pretty awesome, though. And the gargoyle oh, looks yeah. fucking cool, yeah. Alright, so put all of our party members over here at the bonfire. And let's get going. Beard can die. So, <laughs> <clears throat> then you all die. I see how it is. So everybody has these little player boards. You, you can see a little bit of it off screen here, but... I like them because they've got these little uh, square areas and you drop these little cubes in here to tell me what levels I am. I can be base level, we can go tier one, tier two, tier three, and that's basically just gonna level us up, level our stats up, and allow us to use more and more powerful uh, equipment that we find in the world. Uh, also, the most one of the more creative mechanics I see is our health bar. Our health bar is actually a health slash endurance bar where as you take damage you fill up these red these, these red uh, cubes and then as you swing your weapon more and more you all fill up the other side with black cubes but if you ever fill your endurance bar completely that's when you die so you kind of have to be careful not to uh, swing too much and get too tired and then also get hit a lot <laughs> and then you die and it's just like the video game you want to manage your your stamina and and make sure that you're doing yep. a good job on uh, on dodging and things like that which is what you can do in this game via these green dice we're gonna be dodging with those and we're gonna be attacking with these custom black dice now, as we find more powerful weapons, we start to roll blue dice, which are even more powerful, and then orange dice, which are the most powerful. And you guys know how I like to roll lots of dice. I'm sure the bosses are going to really mess us up. All right, here we go. So, whip out the rules here, and we will see who goes first. Let's do the setup. I call last. I call last, Joe? <laughs> well, if you're the healer... I kind of want you to stay behind a little That's bit. That's what I was going to do. Stay behind me, Joe. I'm the knight. Just remember, though, if anyone dies, we lose. I know. Now, that sucks. Uh, well, we'll show you how that works, basically. When one of the party members dies, we all go. We all have to go back to the bonfire and restart. That's the one thing in the game that's like, son of a bitch. Should be like, Joe, you go to the bonfire. 
and catch up to us. I kind of like it, though, because that makes it yeah. hard. Well, like what it does is it facil it allows you to redo the encounters, just like the game. When you die and you go back to the bonfire, all these reset, and you go through them again. Uh, if only one of us died, then you couldn't really do that. Because you can also could. just reset the bonfire whenever you're done with a room, all right, which is nice. Go. Incoming soul level one, no hit run. Yep. So, yeah, uh, that's the <laughs> other thing, guys. Bullshit. We cannot we cannot beat this game uh, without dying. So if you're really good in Dark Souls, maybe you can go on a no-hit run. And, and <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Or never die, right? But here, you're going to die. It's just the way to level up, so. That's why everybody's gonna blame OJ when I die. Oh, oh yeah. I'm already ready to blame OJ. I'm blame. starting to blame him You're and he hasn't even done yet. <laughs> Here we go. So, uh, players win a game of Dark Souls the board game when the party defeats the main boss. Their initial equipment will be insufficient right now. Uh, so you're gonna need to explore uh, gain souls and purchase treasure over here. Look at all this treasure we You say buy. that, but this was the best sword in Dark Souls 3. <laughs> For the longest time. <laughs> what sword? The S stock is best stock. That's what the uh, the saying was. Because mm. you could make it so ridiculous and mm. it was just so broken. Alrighty. Uh, they'll want to rest at the bonfire along the way and sure to find themselves sent back due to dying until their sparks are exhausted. However, they'll still have a chance to enhance their party in hopes of winning in the end. So the party moves from tile to tile. When the party enters a new tile, flip the encounter card on that tile face up. That marks the beginning of an encounter. The party can freely move through the tiles that they already have gone through. And then we get to the fog gate here, which is then going to get us to the boss. If we make is it. Is the fog gate in the game? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It's been in every game. Fog gate in every game. Again. And th this is really feels like, it seems like a... Well, not feels, because I haven't played it yet, but it seems like a very faithful recreation of the video. Other than the so fact far. that they have monsters from every game. Well, they're just combining the license, yeah. and that's what I would do. You get the most bang for your buck there. <laughs> yeah, what? All right, ready? Here we go. Once we've set it all up, which we have, um, choose which character leads the way into the encounter. Del. Joe. Well, You're the Del knight, knows, Joe. What, Del the knows knight. what he's Other doing. Joe. Fine. I'm the healer. I'll go next. Fine. What? The I volunteer will go. after. Everybody, back up. I volunteer to go last. Okay. <laughs> back up. Well, you're going second clockwise, so. All right. Which way do we want to go? We yeah. want chat. Do we want to go here? Do we want to go up? I mean, do we we got to kill go all left? of them anyway, so. Fuck it. Go here. So we've got ourselves in this room. When I. Flip this rim? over. Is that a rim? Yep, a rim. <laughs> Every time you flip these cards, you get a number, you get a bunch of enemies, tells you what type of enemies there are. You need to put them on tiles in the room. So we've got ourselves a uh, An Orlando Great Bow uh, Knight, which hurts like hell. And we got ourselves a little crossbow guy. Oh. We're gonna chill. So it's double ranged room. This is great. <laughs> Motherfucker! This is great, Joe, and you're in first. Luckily, I have uh, starting equipment. I've got my armor here, I've got a shield, and I've got a sword. The long sword. So I don't feel too threatened right now. Uh, let's see how this is, works. Is it long enough? <laughs> Choose which character led the way into well. the encounter. Place the aggro. <laughs> it's supposed to be loot. Whoop, whip. Place the aggro token on that character's model, and the battle begins. Aggro token on me. All right, Joe's going to die. All enemies activate. What? What? <laughs> yep. The activation order would then uh, return to the beginning, so ending an encounter. So, okay, the, the bad guys get to go first. Which is bullshit. You want to hand me <laughs> the bad guy cards? Uh, okay. I'll do the bad guys. Bad guys, uh, bad guy cards. Uh, oh shit! Is that the silver knight with the? No, this is a uh, the so yeah. I think these are the silver knight. Yeah, guys. the silver knight. Yeah. Oh god, I hate those guys. They're such assholes. Who else is in there? Silver knight. Uh, so we need the silver knight great bow. There we go. And I need the crossbow hollow. Should be there. Yep, got them both. Okay, so overview. Enemy activations. All enemy models activate during an enemy activation. The order they activate is determined by the threat level, beginning with the highest threat and ending with the lowest threat. For enemies with equal threats, you, we choose the order they activate. Non-boss enemies follow behavior icons on their data cards. Bosses follow the icons on their decks. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Enemy movement. Okay, so you see the movement icon? It's that little uh, up, down, left, right arrow. 
That's yep. going to show you how the enemy will move. Various smaller icons can appear around there when the enemy. So here, uh, let me see the first one there. The big guy. The big guy. Okay, so here's a card. This is kind of the movement. Notice it's got a skull and it's got a one on the down arrow. So what that means is the enemy moves the indicated number of nodes farther from the character with the aggro token. When two different, so he's gonna move away from me. Okay, and the other guy moves away from you. Uh, let's uh, the this the silver. So what does that guy do? Moves away from you as well. Guy they're both moves ranged. away from me as well. So they're backing up. Son of a bitch! Wait, don't they have to go way? diagonal? They're no. going to just just away from, from him. him. Away from me. Um, when an enemy model is moving towards another model, it will stop moving when it's on the same node. When an enemy model is moving away from another model, it will stop moving when there are no nodes further from its target, which usually only happens when the enemy is backed into a corner. All right, and then it attacks. They're going to fire their thingamajiggies at me. There are two different types of enemy attack icons, physical Shit. and magical. Let me see these cards, see if they're physical or magical. They look they're both physical. physical. That is magical. <laughs> it's a crossbow. It's a magical, <laughs> it's a magical crossbow. crossbow. for a first death. I'm going to say, though, the big guy is magical. Damage. It's just going to be yeah. arrows everywhere. <laughs> I mean, the big guy got to be magic. No normal guy can like, use that. That's oh, physical, no, they can. That's magical. You see how they're different? Oh, interesting. Okay. For character attacks, uh, players roll the dice and compare the roll total to the enemy's block and resist values. For enemy attacks, the attack damage is fixed, and the player can roll to determine how much to subtract from the damage. For both attack types, the dice roll depend on the block or resist icons in the character equipment. All right, so let me check out my armor. Look at the enemy's attack to determine its strength, whether it's physical or ranged. So let's do the big guy first. They're both ranged. Okay, well, let's do one of them first. Let's do crossbow. Okay, the <laughs> other one that I picked. No. Okay. Go ahead. How much is it? His attack? Yeah. Four. Four magical? Four are uh, physical. Now you just switch to that one. Yeah. Okay, okay so four physical. Four physical, <laughs> yes. Gather the oh, dice damn, damn. <laughs> equal to the symbol shown on the character's uh, equipment status block icon. Gather the dice equal to the symbol shown on the character's equipped items block icon for physical damage or the resist icon. Will AJ die the first round? Stay damage. tuned. <laughs> you didn't have to stay tuned. It's going to be like next minute. All right, blue <laughs> and black. Roll the dice and add them together. Subtract the roll total from the attack strength. If the roll equals or exceeds this attack value, the character suffers zero damage. Otherwise, the character suffers the resulting damage. Shit. On these two dice, I have to roll what? Four? Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> How do you block oh though? Oh my god. All right, it, here's another thing. Anytime a character is targeted by an attack, they may attempt to dodge the attack. Dodging is an all or nothing chance to avoid the damage that replaces the block or resist roll. So I gotta choose, do I wanna replace this roll by dodging? So, hmm. I'm gonna try to block it. What's the what's the other one, three? Yep, the other one's three. They're maybe, both gonna shoot you. Maybe I should try to dodge this one. I'll try to dodge this one. Dodging is an all or nothing, okay. Uh, the right choice depends on the character's equipped uh, items, health, stamina. A successful dodge also means a character is not hit by the attack, so they will not be pushed or suffer conditions from the attack. To make a dodge roll, look at the enemy, anim enemy card data or the boss's behavior card to determine the dodge difficulty of the attack. So, that's the... Let me see the character card. Dodge difficulty. Hi, Bioware. How you doing? One. One. They're both one. The character must spend one stamina and can move one node. One stamina. So I take a black cube and I put it in my first stamina. I don't. I haven't done anything, so I've got plenty of stamina. Gather the dice equal to the symbol shown in the equipped item's dodge. What? The equipped item's dodge? In, in order, what? I wish I could I teleport, that, but what no, that I icon traveled is. all day. <laughs> well, the thing is, is, but can I not dodge unless I have an item that, that allows me to dodge? I think it's on your chest. 
What's the dodge icon look like? Should you be able to dodge like all the The night time? dodging doesn't make any sense. Mm. That does sound weird. Maybe it's the circle value? Because there's an armor, then a circle, and then a, a weapon, maybe? I, I hate rule books like these that some information is in this area and another information is in another area. <coughs> but that's one of the hardest things to get right. Dodge, 10. Okay, there it is. It has zero. So, I, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Where's it at? It's the little axe with the arrow under it. Oh. It's the third icon. Basically, let me show you guys. So here is the dodge icon right there. I don't, you probably can't. Heavy armor can't right. dodge. Anyway, fuck it. I I'm rolling. Dodge. One. So you're going to die first fuck. round? Yeah. That did <laughs> not fucking block the damage. So subtract the roll total from the attack strength. If the roll equals or exceeds the attack value, the character suffers zero damage. Otherwise, I suffer the damage. You fucking shitting me? I get four damage well, immediately. What does your Damn. shield do? You have to be able to use your shield. That's the whole point of that character. That just looks good. It's just an accessory. <laughs> it doesn't do shit. That fucking spear went through the shield. <laughs> well, I rolled the blue and the black for the armor. Do I also add? You also my add the shield? shield. Yeah. Okay. Well, then never mind. I don't get four damage right away. By the way, how much damage can I take? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten is my health. Yeah. So I almost, like, fucking half died there from the beginning shot of the game. So instead, I'm actually supposed to be rolling um, more dice. Yep. Okay, here we go. There we go. Four, six. six. So I got six blocks. You it only did, did four. four damage. I don't have to take any damage. I blocked it with my shield. Ting. That was from this fool way over here. Yep. Well, you can't see. Oh, that's what these values are the then, huh? Fucking map. No? What? These values, those are the block values? The uh, one shield? I'll give it to you. I'll give you You guys have one, two again. blacks. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Joe has a blue. Okay. Congrats, you survived. I survived. No, <laughs> we still have that other guy. You have the other guy here. now. So he does magical damage, or the resist icon for magical damage. The block icon for physical damage is the little shield, right? That's the shield. Oh, so you only roll the blue dice if it's magic. Because blue is magic resist, I think. No, blue dice is to give you more more uh, power. Don't stop, Don't jump to conclusions, especially when I have the rule book in front of me. Let me, let me handle it. Let me handle it. All right, block or resist icon. I can't tell what the resist icon is on here. It doesn't seem to be a resist icon. I'm getting shot with magic, and I can't seem to resist it. For me, I think it's the second value, because this is like a different icon than that the shield. That doesn't look like a, a resist icon. It doesn't look like the icon the rule book is showing. No, oh, I have two black dice, and I don't even know what the second one is. There are too many icons on these damn cards. Even in this board game, Dark Souls is hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just need to know what the second number is, because this is physical, dice, and this is a circle, which would make physical, me think it's magic. Physical, physical, I won't get physical. So it'd be like physical, yeah, one. Yeah, the second number. Yeah, there we go, yeah. So physical. I get one black dice. I get one black dice. All right. For magic roll. <coughs> so against magic, I can only block for one. But that guy fires for what, three? Yeah. So I'm automatically hit with three damage. What does your shield do? Shield doesn't, has zero against magical. And you only, yep. Really? Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> Seriously, the first enemy in the game. Just a I normal call. Shit. Yeah, you just take three damage. Run! You just take three damage. No, Why would you go in there? You don't tell me anything. <laughs> I'll give you three damage. I, I can't react. <laughs> I can't fucking react to it. What I can do is I can use my heroic ability, which is the knight, at once per spark after making a block roll, the knight may roll an additional blue die and add it to the roll. So if I roll this and I roll two, all I need would one more, and then I roll this and I can block it. Yep. But I only do that once until we go back to the bonfire. No, you have three sparks. Once per spark. No, I don't. Once per spark after making a block roll. 
Where where does this? You have three sparks. Remember the spark roller, the circle slidey thing. Our sparks. You were no, my us... friend. That is a life. That's yeah. It's our that's, life. That's our combined life, my yeah. friend. Yeah, so but that's I'm called the using... spark. No, no, no. Why do you jump to conclusions all the time when we play these games? <laughs> that's what the, just... you called no, it. No, you're spark jumping counter. to conclusions. You're co- trying to guess the rules okay. when I've got them in front of me, man. What's the game is called Dark right, Souls. So check it out. Check I it jump out. to conclusions. The r- actual mechanic, if you want to ask me for it, this is called a heroic ability. On your sheet, you've got this token right here you flip the token over and that allows you to use your heroic ability how many times can you do this you can do it once every time you go back to the bonfire after you refresh that exhausted token you can also refresh this so yeah i'm gonna have to take the three damage luckily i've got a flask here which i can uh turn over to heal three so i get shot (laughs) with a magical fucking attack three damage you're because, over there going gung ho. Because other Joe shoved me in the room. I didn't do shit. Uh, <laughs> okay. Just takes an arrow straight <laughs> to the face. It was wrong. It's safe now. <laughs> it's safe now, guys. I took a magic. Operation Show Shield is complete. I took a magic arrow to the knee. Too bad every one of us have to dodge I, the arrows when I, we come into the room. Yeah, unless I can, like, charge over there, run, and somebody plug that in. Joe, come over here and plug that in. Put it in, OJ. <laughs> Slide it right in yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Okay, so now I get to go, bastards. Uh, so when I get to go, I recover two stamina, I gain the aggro token, I may swap items, I can walk for zero stamina, I'll walk. Uh. Can't you leave the area, by the way? I can... Yeah, I guess I can run away, but there's no point in running away. These guys are ranged, and I'd just be fucking myself by allowing them to continue to kite me. So I'm going to run for one more stamina. I'm going to add a black uh, cube to my health. And that's how... So this game has a unique movement system that I've not seen before. Each of these little circles that you see on the map are called nodes. Nodes can fit up to three figures. So if these guys were to enter at the same time, this would be the maximum number of people on a node. Uh, If one more person then enters this node, you choose a character to push off the node in any of the adjacent ones. But they're being little punks and they're hiding behind me. So I am moved one node for free. I exert it and use one of my stamina in order to get into this node with this magical guy since I'm not very good against magic right now. And now I can move and attack or I can attack and move. So I chose to move and attack. So I've done my movement, now I attack. During the activation, I can make one attack with each weapon they're holding in their hand. Like let's say I had two weapons or something. I don't, I don't. I got a shield and a long sword. So I'll just make an attack with the long sword and they choose one of that weapon's attack options and spend stamina equal to the stamina cost of the attack. That's the little number. If I spend four stamina, really? (laughs) Then I can roll a black dice and a blue dice. Or I can spend zero stamina and just roll a blue dice. I'd do zero, fuck it. But see, I've already taken three hits and I used a stamina. So technically my health bar has taken four damage. Yeah, but it resets, it gets two back every time you're activated. It's true, but yeah. these fu- who knows if these freakers They got three people to go shoot. through. Yeah, but I have the aggro, which means they're that depending on these people's behaviors, because on their card is their behavior, they will go after a person. So is it a skull or what is it? They're both skulls. They're both skulls. So whoever has that aggro chip is who they're attacking. Good job. <laughs> but don't we all get the aggro chip when someone else enters the all room? All enemies activate, knights activate. All enemies activate. Yeah, but I re- What the fuck? They're going to shoot me twice! <laughs> Reread. Because that, that's so stupid! I hate you guys! You did it! Re- no. no, go to hell! Don't nobody say anything! Okay? Don't say anything, Del. I know you want to say something. Don't it's important. It. Go ahead. When You said whenever a new character enters the room, they get the aggro token. Mm-hmm. So we would... Yeah, get... they get an activation right now before you activate. Yeah. 
So I'm gonna get shot twice. Yeah. So what you just told me has no bearing on what I'm angry with. God damn it. So no, I don't wanna spend four stamina if nope. I'm gonna if I'm about to take a bunch more fucking hits. Alright, I'm gonna dead sign for you. I'm gonna God damn this game is hard. I'm gonna go no stamina and roll a blue dice and see if I can kill this guy with a single blue dice. Here we go. <laughs> Two! He's got ten health. <laughs> What? Yeah. <laughs> He's got 10. What? He's got 10 health. No, he doesn't. He has 10 it's health. It's a fucking mini, mini, it's not even a mini boss. It's okay. No, let me see that card. This guy has 20. Are you... <laughs> I, I quit. Are these at the boss? I quit. Where's the dead sign? The boss, it's okay. This guy has 35 and he has 25. What do I have Are for? Are you kidding me? Welcome to Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Give me the damn card. <laughs> In the middle of the card. I'll be like, I'll be all right. I, I just, I'll hit him. No, and I'm not going fisticuffs. Right. In the middle I'm of the card. Go cuffs, just pop me. Yeah. No, he has one Ooh. health. Ooh. No, that this guy also has a one. The his health is in the middle. What What are you talking about, dude? You You don't know how to read these cards. Jesus Christ. There's their health values. What, what's their health value? I was about to quit. One what's piece. the 20 then in the middle? Is that their armor? Because that's no, different. There's no 20 in the middle. <laughs> oh my god, you scared the that. shit out of me, Del. You scared the shit out of me. So he was looking at these. That means how much they resist. So the number on that side, he resists one. And he uh, resists two. So you have to do at least two damage to this guy. You have to do at least one damage to this guy. And then there's the health of one. And there's the health of one. So we're all right. Uh... So I hit him for two. Yeah, he see. resists one. Oh, him. you're right. And he has one health, <laughs> so I tell. killed him. What? This is not dark. Yeah, that, 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 is, that, that is. That was twenty. Health. I was like, he yeah, was Jesus health. Christ. He put the cards together. Show him on the big camera what what you did there, just so they know. It made sense <laughs> in my mind too, because this guy's half as big I as that dude. I can see how you see it. <laughs> yeah. I think that's one symbol. Show, show Holy the, shit! Card, the it looked like a the... ten. That is that is terrible. And then the other guy was twice as big and had twenty health. So I was like, okay. And then you consider the fact that we get like multiple dice and can hit for like six damage and shit. So he's only got one health. Yeah. Okay. So we hit him one time and he died. Too easy. Hail Hydra! Thank you so much for the ten dollar donation, bro. We appreciate that. Uh, and thank you to Sed here for the eight month subscription and Dodge Dodgerson thirty minutes ago for the subscription, as well as Raiden just now for the three months. Really appreciate that, guys. Thank you for your support. Let me move this over to an area. What's the value in the upper left? A little bit more, and I'll repeat that. Not sure. Easy. <laughs> Maybe we can put it right over here. Yeah. Cool. All right. <clears throat> so thank God, because that would have been impossible. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Dale ramping up the difficulty. Dale yeah. trying to fucking kill me. Also, there's a barrel that spawned. Yeah. Where did the barrel spawn? Right there. Okay. Terrain. What's this? <clears throat> the game also has terrain. Well, uh, if you want to check that out, you can check the rule books here. What's the thing you're pointing at? Upper left. Upper left. Uh, can't they only move diagonal, though? Upper left is uh, Demigod threat 75. Level. Resubscribe for four months. Got Thank it. you so much for that. Okay, so my turn is over. Now the enemies get to activate again, which means he does what again? He moves away from me? Yep, one away okay, from me. One away from me. And then he fires. Uh, four or physical. What's his range? Infinite. God damn it. <laughs> I. Can you move tight? Or. Uh, yeah. Across like Can that? you move over or does it have to be diagonal? I'm pretty sure it's probably diagonal. You could go diagonal. Here, we're, we we well, get to choose. And that's part of the strategy in the board game. So, so you can just go straight across? You could go straight across. Okay. You could use diagonal. Yeah. So don't don't have him go there. Go have him diagonal so he's a little bit closer to you guys when you guys enter. So you can run and, and grab him. Okay? So what? who was that just now? That was... Uh, Ropsidus, 91. Thank you very much, Ropsidus. Uh, so he hits me, but this time I can use my shield and my armor. I just gotta roll four. You can do it. And I Never rolled mind. 
a fucking <laughs> two. <coughs> take four damage. Which means I take all four damage, which means I am very close to dying. Uh, I have two health left. Oh, so the damage doesn't get blocked, like, at all? So it doesn't get blocked at all. I take all of the damage. So oh. instead instead of that, I'm wondering if I should use my... We're going to clear this room, and you're going to heal. I'm I'm gonna take mo I'm gonna take tons of fucking damage. We're gonna we have three people to kill this guy before it gets to you again. So I would just take the damage. I don't want four damage, man. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna. Uh, but if we go back to the bonfire, everything resets. Yeah. If we die. But I'm gonna use yeah. my once a game once a spark hero ability. All right. I don't have to take it. Hope well. You know, this is our first game, so I use my hero ability really early, and we'll see how that affects the game. All right, thank God it's over. Who's next? Oh, okay. clockwise. So, Counter. so you get House to pick rules. who goes in first. <laughs> so House rules. <laughs> you just don't want to get shot in the face. You, know. just pick and then it you want to walk in the room and be like, hey guys, how's it going? He's <laughs> 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 like, hey man, look at all this loot on the ground. Isn't that great? <laughs> loot will kill you. <laughs> I just want to stay where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, just stay by the bonfire the whole time. They don't you live like, oh, <laughs> it feels so nice over here by the bonfire. What, was it clockwise or counterclockwise? It was clockwise. It's clockwise. Right, do it. Okay. But it's I thought clockwise. it was pick who goes in first for the first set. I did. Oh. I went in first. Clockwise from me. Okay. Move me into the room. Go for it, OJ. You got this. Good luck. OJ, you now have the aggro Fuck. token. Boss is going to so shoot So that costs you, you uh, uh, let's see, zero uh, stamina? Zero. Okay. Boss is okay. shooting at you. What do you, hold on. So it's Joe's activation. He gets to completely go. Oh, yeah. Damn, Mandela. <laughs> you just want to kill people, don't you? <laughs> All right, so Joe, you can move and attack or attack and move. Obviously, you're not going to attack and move. Nobody's next to you. So you can move and attack. So when you move... Uh, you, one you move one, and that's zero. You can keep going for one stamina each move. So what I recommend to you is let's fucking take this guy down. Let's, let's do it. Him. I'm gonna so charge him. That's what I was gonna you, do. You're gonna charge. Charge him. and attack. Charge with the Herald, other Joe into battle. That's gonna cost you two stamina. Fill your stamina bar. Fuck the free world. So Joe's at eight health technically, because two of the stamina is is taking up his ten health bar. So now you can attack Joe. So when you attack, you look at the weapons in your hand, and you say, well, uh, for zero, I can roll this blue, or for four, I can roll this. That would be if you're using this weapon. Joe, what weapon are you using? I'm using a spear. Okay, let me check it out and show. Uh, your spear, for zero stamina, Joe can roll uh, one black dice with this special symbol, or for three stamina, he can roll a black dice, plus he gets one automatic uh, hit, and it's got that special symbol. Yeah, what is that special that symbol? That special symbol means you cannot hit a person that you're in the node with. So never mind, Joe. Instead of charging him, because you have such a long weapon, you can hit him from one square away. Oh, so you actually one. can't hit him when you're in the same. So you only take one stamina. Kill him, so OJ. Hit him with your spear one space away. Poke him. Uh, poke him. <laughs> got it. Which one are you going to do? Black. Just one. Are, are you, you, you're Just one. You're not going to spend any more... Uh, no, sir. Why is that? Because I got this. Well, no, just go ahead and tell me why. <laughs> because I don't... See, here's, here's what happens in a cooperative game, is you have somebody start to quarterback for the team. And the reason why is Joe just wants to do one dice because he, he, he's playing. But this is Dark Souls, right? So we have to min-max. We have to maximize it. So Joe even gets a stamina back, and he's like, no, I don't want to help you with the extra, <laughs> the extra stamina. I, I would have, have to use time. three more. Well, you're the one going to get hit There's by him, There's one guy me. left in the room. You're Isn't the it? one going to get hit by him, not me. So I want you to do what you saw originally so you can learn your lesson. I will. Didn't they only have two HP get two hits, right? Learn what? your lesson, Joe. Two hits so and he's dead? this symbol. You have to get two. Two. This no, you have, to get, what is you have that? to get. You have to get. It's two. He can ignore two damage. Mm -hmm. That guy is a little stronger. He's going to ignore two damage. You have to roll you above two. Oh. You have to roll above two. You have okay. to get a three. I thought I just had to get a two. Well, it's impossible with this dice. Well, you can spend uh, stamina yeah, to actually I, get no, it. I have to. <sighs> oh, yeah. You get two stamina back when it becomes your turn again. But uh, one thing I did want to ask. There's a, what is that symbol? 
because I don't know what the special thing is for that. Damage all enemies on a target node. So if there's, oh. it's an area of effect. That's cool. I like What's that. What's the minus one? That's your axe or something? That's my battle axe. Yeah, yeah your axe will cleave oh, them nice. in that same. That's cool. Axe is also what powerful. Are you, saying? you guys what ready? What does the dash one mean on mine? You can do it. Dash one? You yeah. can do oh, it. Two dash one. one. Oh, it always so you gotta get two, right? <laughs> yeah, you gotta get two. You can do it. If you can roll a two, you kill him. Kill him. Let's see the uh, Jill's uh, part. Roll a two, you can kill him. Negative one. Negative one. So you roll your result, you m subtract one from it. Got it. Damn it. Well, not you. Oh. Yeah, no, that's that's on him. Yay! Oh, you got I him. killed him. What is it? We know you what was he got three. 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 Oh, Joe yeah, killed him. Good, Good job, Joe. Yay. He saved every one of us. See, Joe, you need to Oh, guys, I did so case. much. Thank you for See, the loot. I, I, but I had to, I had to tell him. Because Joe's like, nah, I'll, I'll just use one. Well, because I thought it's it was just two. To kill him. I thought I'll it was just, just two. One. I know. And I didn't know he, I guess, ignored. No, you, you just you just didn't want to spend stamina. and But you didn't know that you wouldn't have enough power behind I rolled behind a the two. I know. What I'm saying is you didn't want to spend the stamina initially because you were being selfish, bro. I was in danger. You were in danger, actually. You're the one that has the token on you. We're mind. all in danger, right? <laughs> all right, so we actually successfully completed our first encounter. I expected us to die our first encounter. I guess this game's not that hard, right? You're welcome. Well, okay. we'll see. That's like the first so. zombie That's the stammering first after you. zombie stammering after you. Flip yeah. Enemies. Okay, so now <laughs> this room is cleared. So this room is cleared. Let's see what happens after we, uh, you know, sort of we clear an encounter. We get stuff. We? It's okay. Yeah. We did all the work, Beard. You guys I, aren't I know. Even in the room. I, we were doing work. We were, we were sitting the on the sidelines. You hey, know, what's watching. Up? That's important to do. What's up, dudes? <laughs> we were, we were here uh, now. Yeah, <laughs> we, were, we were giving support. Bushy. If the party defeats all the enemies and no characters are killed, the party wins. Remove all black and red cubes from the characters' endurance bars. Woo! I don't even have to waste my flask. Oh, that's actually really handy. Yeah. After every encounter, After that's pretty cool. After every encounter that you win. Yeah. Okay. It's you win or you go home. Yeah, pretty much. You win or you die. <laughs> Victory or death. The angry army likes this. All right. Remove all black and red tokens we did. If the encounter is not a boss, it's not. Add two souls per character to the soul cache. Ooh. What? Really? Two, four, six, eight? Fuck yeah. Eight souls to the soul cash. I love it. Do we get four each? That's our currency for buying cool shit. Four, four each? each? No, I'll take six since I did the most. You take two <laughs> and y'all get what jack shit. What did you shit. do? Y'all didn't do hey. shit. I killed the other guy. Chat, remember we, that we were, we were moral support. I, I... You need moral support in Dark Souls. It's depressing anyway. as hell. Oh, took down the big guy. We all just get <laughs> two. If, yeah. any, if any character is killed, the party is defeated. When the party is defeated, place all characters back on the bonfire uh, to retrieve souls. Blah, 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 blah. If a character dies, once a party has uh, entered an encounter, I cannot leave. No matter whether the encounter ends in victory or defeat, give the first activation token to the player who is next in turn order. So, Joe, oh I, uh, you are going next. Again? Saying, where's the fucking turn order? There it is. Well, no, I would go next. Oh, well, it says, yeah, no matter whether the, uh, yeah, okay. So the player with the first activation token will activate their character first in the next encounter. All right, we're going to the next room, right? Yeah. So we got ourselves, uh... Gargoyle. Three... Wait, we didn't get loot? Or do you want to, when do we buy loot? No, so when, when I didn't get credit to these get for doing this. You get last souls. people. Uh, I'll just re repeat it here. Uh, Rhapsodus, uh, 75, and Mercury Muffin. Thank you, Mercury Muffin, for showing support of our show. Then subscribe and make them feel welcome. And then Rhapsodus has actually been with us for 20 months, almost two years. Looking forward to that, my friend. And thank you for all those months. I need a tombstone. So Del bought me some juice, monster juice. Pipeline punch, and I gotta say, tastes a little bit like um, um, guanaba. Guanaba? You know guanaba, Joe? I don't think so. Guanaba juice? It's goya. I need it's a tombstone. Juice. What yeah. language is it speaking? <laughs> Spanish. Spanish. Guava. You need what? A tombstone. Oh, you need a fucking tombstone? tombstone. Yeah. What do tombstones do, bro? I'll I read have it. No idea. 
So we, we have terrain. <laughs> There's a tombstone, and tombstones do block movement. At the start of a boss encounter, the party gains information about the boss for each uh, tombstone. Okay, well, at the start of a boss encounter, but well, we're not in a boss encounter, so it's just going to block movement, so we can't, nobody can go there yet. All right, Beard's going in first. Are right? there any traps or anything? Nope. Man, this shit is easy. We want to get to the fucking boss, dude. We're going to do this, guys. Stick with us. All we need to do is kill these motherfuckers, kill these motherfuckers, kill these motherfuckers, and then we'll get to the boss. All right, so uh, there's two of those crossbow guys that you hated this time. Fuck, the magical <laughs> one? Yep. Oh, my God, Beard, you're fucked. I'm yeah, fine. Good job, Beard. I'm fine. Aggro token. I can't believe the magical guys, like, there's no good shit against aggro. Honestly, I recommend you try to dodge these aggro bitches. Or these I, magic bitches. It feels so weird that the party just sits here. Yeah, it does. I agree. But okay, and then so they're attacking and you're just waiting in the other room like well, So they attack it's just first. Because, honestly, it was just because that was a yeah. real small engagement. These are weak small engagements. Once yeah. they get bigger, then of course your party's gonna be up in here and we're gonna be doing crap. So wait, they they attack first? Yeah, so okay. let me go, uh, see that's, you know. So what am I fighting people? exactly? Uh, you're fighting two crossbows uh -huh. and a hollow soldier. Okay. See, that's what I don't think is fair. I mean, look at, if you get a bunch of people fucking spawning in there, they go first. What? Yeah. If they what? all hit him, he dies. It's supposed to be I'll be hard. fine. I'll be fine. Uh, but that don't make any sense to me. Let me just reread this just in case. Encounters, right? Once you've set up the enemy's terrains and traps... Place the character models on the entry models. nodes oh. besides the door aligned with the tile the yeah. party moved from. So there the we door, go. we're all up in the door. All right. Okay. And then uh, next, choose which character led the way. We did that. It's Beard. Place the aggro token on Beard. The battle begins. During an encounter, enemy models and characters take turns. Enemy models activate all together, but only one character activates during a character activation, which, okay, we know that. Um, so yeah, they go first, bro. All right. That sucks. So now we look at their individual uh, behavior cards to see exactly what they do. Well, we know the magical guys, they move backward one. Now we can choose the spaces they move backward strategically so that we can try to keep them next to us. They always so, go away uh, from us. Let me see their card. Away. No, I go that way. What? Their because, cards. Well, when you have two, two. So and the, the soldier goes up to beard goes forward one will always charge at the player okay so the soldier charge charges beard yep let's do the soldier first let me put these guys back what are the what's the uh this mean that means he goes away from you they move one backwards at the beginning mm -hmm. of their activation and yeah what what are these five oh it's for souls that's the souls they get. no that's their difficulty five and two yep. beard do you want to know everything on the card top left mm-hmm <clears throat> That's their threat level. Okay. Top right, health. Yep. Um, fuck. Where's the damn thing? Why they put this in different sections of the rules, goddammit? <laughs> you don't need to know. I'll do it for you. Yeah, we're, we're, we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll get this. I'll get this. You get this? Okay, yeah. we're doing the soldier first. So how much does the soldier hit you for? Four physical. Okay, here it goes. Uh, just so you know the, the different things. Mm -hmm. Top top uh, right was the threat level. Right. Uh, uh, go down directly below it. Yep. That's the attack range. Right. So what's his attack range? Zero. Zero. Okay. And then next uh, is the thing in the middle where it's half a shield and half a circle, right? Right, yeah, That's yeah. That's the block and resist values. So if we were hitting him with magic, it would be the white value. If we were hitting him with physical, uh, it would be that that uh, you know shield looking one. What's right. what's his uh, what's his resist on physical? One. One. So you just have to do better than one. And what's his health? One. Okay. So you just have to get two, and he'll die, right? Yeah. But he's coming after you this time. So let's see what what he does. So do these circles and skulls mean anything? Yeah, the circles and skulls. Yeah. Let me see. Which circles and skulls? See? One has yeah. a circle and so a skull. So the skull means it's going after, his behavior is going after the guy with the skull icon, which is you. Mm -hmm. The circle means something different. The circle means the Whoever's person closest. who is nearest to yeah. him. Okay. So he's going after you no matter Right. Just, well, yeah. Because this game is cooperative and nobody is controlling the monsters, uh, on each card, it shows you what they do. And that's our that's our little 
what we're searching through the rules and seeing. Now, honestly, I prefer if the game came out of the box with one of these players, like say Luna, taking over the the bad guys. Oh yeah, slay and, everybody. Yeah, yeah and slay everybody. They have dodge values apparently, but yeah. when do they dodge? Well, they dodge when when. Oh, good question. Dodge mm -hmm. difficulty. No, that's uh, that may be something different. Let me check. That's their dodge difficulty. Bit. So that means they... Determines how hard oh. it is for characters to dodge their attack. Oh, so you yeah. have to have at least one, one to yeah. dodge from them. Okay. Yeah. All right, so he's coming at you for how much damage? Ford. Ford, beard. So try mm -hmm. to roll your defense stuff. All right, so he's coming after me with now, four. Now, you have a decision to make. So mm -hmm. uh, what is your armor? Uh, I have two dice. Two black? Yeah. You can roll two black dice. Uh, can uh, or you could choose an all or nothing and go for the green die if you can dodge. Right. So can if he dodge? hits me, let's say he hits me mm -hmm. for for was it four? Four. Yeah. 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 If he hits me for four you and I roll four, like then. a two on my defense, do I only take two damage? You still take. You four. take all four, as according to what I according to what I read. I'll read again. Okay. Because I, I thought it was it diminishes the damage. I would like it to diminish the damage. Yeah, because then it's the same thing logical. as dodge. Yeah, I agree. But anyway, so to make this decision, I will tell you right now. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, here we go. Because um, if there's like four dudes in a room, you're going <laughs> to die instantly. You're going to die. Yeah. There's no way. You're just going to die if yeah. you don't roll lucky. So for character attacks, players roll the dice and compare the roll to the enemy's block or resist values. No. Um, for enemy attacks, the attack damage is fixed. The player can roll to determine how much to subtract from the damage. Right. Yeah. yeah. Dodge okay. is all or nothing. Right. That one is subtract. So y'all guys remember when I took all four? Yeah. I don't. I didn't actually take all. Yeah, four. I thought that was wrong. It was wrong. Okay. All right. Let's let's go ahead and defend then. I'm gonna defend again. Yeah, I was like, there's no way he walks into a room yep. and just dies. So right. Get three. <laughs> because then the game would be two. way too hard. I got one for my armor and one for my shield. All right, I got it's all right, right. Yeah, it's all right. One, all right. No, no, because no, that's magic resist. Oh, we got okay. this. Okay. First yeah. room completed. Welcome to the stream if you just showed up. We've kicked ass here. We're about to kick ass here. Let's go. All right, let's see. Uh, two. So, so you block two. two damage, you take two damage. Take two damage. Beard gets hit by this swordsman charger. All right. And so that also applies with the magic resist, I assume. So I actually can defend against the crossbows. Okay, because you have magic resist on yes. your character? Well, fuck you. <laughs> so you let's one. do this one first. He walks yep. back and fires three at you. Right. And what are you going to do? I'm going to defend. Dodge or defend? I defend my resist. Okay. And I block two. Only take one damage. Okay, one damage. And you're staying and strong. And this guy walks oh back and fires at Beard. All right, Another I'm going to spend one stamina and dodge. He's going to try the dodge. We haven't done the dodge before, so let me show you uh, how to do the dodge. The dodge is an all or nothing, and uh, you look at the enemy data card to see his dodge difficulty. What's his dodge difficulty? One. Okay. Uh, you spend one stamina, so I'll give you a right. black. Put that on your uh, health bar. And you can move one node. Right. Gather the dice equal to the symbol shown on the item's dodge. It's just one, right? Mm -hmm. Roll the dice. If the number of dodge icons rolled equals or exceeds the dodge difficulty, one, you suffer zero damage. Otherwise, you are hit by the attack and suffer the full damage. Right. So basically, you're spending one stamina to avoid all or nothing. Or to right. take it all or avoid. All right. Here we go. Roll here. So and he gets hit. And he... Oh, yeah. well, I wanted you to see you roll here. Okay. Roll here. All right, all right. But chat saw that you rolled nothing. Ah, he died. <laughs> Bullshit. He got hit. <laughs> he he, 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 he died. He's right here. It didn't count up there. Oh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Fuck. <laughs> all right. All right, so I'm going to go... We're learning the game, right so we'll, get, we'll give that one to you. But that's right. the only one we're giving. It's okay. He gets attacked twice. Right. That's fucked. All right. So, so now... I got uh, attacked three times. No, you get attacked twice. Well, well no, on, I mean... Hold on. So he just walked into the room. Yep. Those guys activate. Yep. Now it's his turn. Mm -hmm. Yep. What are you doing on your turn? I am going to move once. Well, hold on. Weren't you here? Yeah. Yeah, he was there. I, he I rolled. rolled. I dodged. Oh, you dodged. You get yeah. to roll. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. We allowed it. He I was like, how dodged. Dodged. <laughs> we dodged it. We dodged it. dodged. So I'm... I'm Walking straight up to this guy, and yes. I'm going to attack him with my battle axe. Okay, battle Why axe. you leave this guy here? You can take care of him. 
You, you, you got this. Del? You're fine, Dell. I mean, you're going to walk in right on top of him. Well, so. he's going to go after me, and then these two guys are going to shoot you. Yeah, that's fine. That's why I'm killing this one. That's good. You All can right. help to kill that guy. Smart All tactics. Right. Two. Two. You and so I killed him. He's dead. <laughs> Put him in this pot. <laughs> got it. Got us, huh? AJSA, my Mr. 2D2. Thank you very much for the seven months. Woohoo! Seven months. I'll drink to that. I will drink to that as well, sir. Thank you. All right. So, Dell. <laughs> so now do the enemies activate again when I come into the room? When you come into the room, yes. Okay, so the enemies activate, you activate, enemies activate now. Okay. They, they activate now. So beard. charge charge uh, Beard here. Oh, he only goes one. He only goes one. He only yeah. goes one, so he can't reach Beard, I guess. Right. Yep. So and it's just the other end. This guy uh, moves away from you. He's already the furthest away from you. And he, so he f actually can fire at you. Yep. So are you going to dodge or are you going to... I'm going to dodge roll? again. Okay. I'm going to use another stamina and dodge. Okay. Roll on here. All right, grip. Give me a black thing. Black stamina. Yep. He's shooting. Beard. All right. Beard is uh, dodging. Dodge. Oh. dodge. There he goes. <laughs> Okay. You're just rolling around everywhere. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, no. That's right. how you play right. Dark Souls. <laughs> Dell comes in. All right, Dell's coming in. Activating. Let's move this camera because I ain't doing shit. And let's try that view. Yeah, that's much better, Chad. What do you think? Oh, that's much better. You're going to like that. All right, I'm coming in. I'm moving one. Mm -hmm. I'm attacking well, no, this the guy. enemies have to. Uh, they just activated. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. But but you don't. When you come in, isn't that? The I'm action? activated. Because I didn't get a first action when I got in the room. Yeah, you activated the room. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, it's happened to Joe too. So I'm activating. I'm attacking that dude. Okay. I am going to do a power attack and roll three black dice. Wow. Damn. You just want him dead. <laughs> three black dice minus one. Yep. Okay. So I have to roll what to kill him? Two. two. That's a two. He's dead. Yeah, you got him. Four minus one is three. So yep. Dell comes in like a screaming like a <laughs> bat out of hell. Like, ah! And he's dead. Takes his yep. head off. Okay. And now a crossbow guy. Now again. the crossbowman gets to attack. What is his behavior? Attacks it, the threat. Yep. Attacks the threat. So you give the threat token to Dell. Yep. And he fires at Dell. He's going to move away from Dell, if possible, and fire at Dell. <laughs> he hits uh, Beard. He hits Beard. <laughs> ah, you bastard. Fires at Dell. <laughs> Dell, what are you defending with? Are you going to all or nothing? Double roll. Okay, with what? Two black? Double two, roll? I have two roll tokens. What? Two what? Oh, two yeah, because you're an assassin. I'm an assassin. Thank you. Okay, you're going to try to So I need, I need three black, by the way. For you what like reason? Because I used a power horses. attack. Huh? Uh, three black cubes. Yeah. Exhausted. Stamina cubes. Okay. So I'll need four after this. Like one more. Yeah. I'll just put those in. So I'm rolling. I only need to roll one. I got hit. You Dang. failed your dodge because you didn't roll nice and cleanly on the map. I want a nice Just like things. Beard. <laughs> you know? And, uh... You got exhausted. There's no do-overs in mine, so. You, you see, if you would have rolled on camera, then it wouldn't have happened like that. So no do-overs, you took three damage. <laughs> That's nice. fine. Blame it on the lag. But I still get to move at damn least. Damn lag. The damn I lag. still get to move at least. You got surprised. Yeah. Why do you move? Because I rolled. I still got I hit, but I rolled. You didn't successfully dodge. I don't think that... I still think well, you Well, let's moved. see that. Yeah, yeah let's see the uh, the... the Procedure. Well, that's a fail dodge. Well, even in Dark Souls, if you roll, you still get hit, but you still move. No, I hear you, yeah. and, and I just want to go ahead and see that in the rules because I agree with it, and I want to know if they did it or not. Character must spend and can move one node. Yeah. That's even before it determines, so you're right. So you can still move, and I guess it slammed into your head as you were rolling. <laughs> I need a three red. Three red. Yep. Are you got staggered? Are you, are you alive? Yeah, I'm good. Are you dead? Mm -hmm. I'm good. What is your health at? I got three left. Damn. Three health left. Yeah, I'm good. That's not good. Do you want to roll like a hero? Okay. Well, <laughs> uh. We should do some healing. Yeah. Well. I can't. It's the enemy's turn. 
Yeah. So when it comes back to our activation. Oh wait, no, they just activated. They just activated. Yeah. So now it's yeah. your turn. No, my it's, turn. Yeah. Or yeah, it would be your when turn. When can I do healing? So I'm when gonna charge. Yeah. I'm gonna go one, well, two, it's gonna be over three, four. No. So you don't have the spells. So you get four think. stamina. Four black. Can we get some loot? I'm filling up my stamina like a motherfucker. I Coming in like a. I don't know. Crazy don't know man. Spells. You do spells like you would attacks. Well, yeah, but he doesn't have any spells. That's they what I'm go saying. go to the top bar. Well, don't I have this one? Well, look at the talisman. Oh, that's tal oh there you go. Yeah. There you go. Let, let me see what the talisman says. We have all characters within range gain one stamina, and one character within range gain six stamina. That's uh, good. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to so switch attack next uh, time. this guy here uh, with one blue. Damn it! He lives. Only rolled one. Why are you using one so blue? He lives. He lives. Well, because I used four stamina to charge in here, and it's if for I the used team. another four stamina, <laughs> then I would be two away I from dying. I got you. I'm gonna save you. I'm gonna use. Uh, he's, an OG. he's shooting at Joe first, though. Well, now he realized. So I fucking failed. I came on, <laughs> <laughs> and he simply sides. You hit the me wall and looked at me with really mean eyes, and he says, "Fuck you." I don't have any good magical resistance. I have one black dice, or I can do that all or... N no, I can't. I don't have that dodge ability because I'm the knight and I'm too slow right now. Three damage. So I just take three damage. Yep. If you don't have... Well, no. You, you Remember, it, it reduces the damage. With he your has a magic right. roll, do you? Yeah. Yeah, it reduces the damage by yeah, one, so, so he I takes took two. two damage. Fuck. I'm glad I didn't do what Joe suggested, which was... <laughs> Use another four stamina because there goes the two damage I would have done. Yeah. Who has the same health so as you're somebody? You're not very good at this game and you're not even playing. What? <laughs> I can't do anything. I feel useless over here. It I'm is sorry. your turn, Joe. It's your My turn. turn. What do you mean useless? You and me, last turn, okay. we're the only a, ones that did anything. I'm a switch. But yeah. You got to come in first. So you hey, came in. Well, this I turn, came though, in, I ran in, I, in, switch, I tanked right? three yep, guys and cool. killed one. It looked cool. <laughs> I will admit. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna restore my. I was just like, come at me, bro. Marlocki subscribed 38 months. Yeah. Thank you so much, Marlocki. Are you moving to me? I can move one more. You got right? one more Jesus free movement. Yeah. For you. And you can I can attack. Me, of course. Wait, there, he's away in the corner. So, oh. do you want to sprint over to him, or do you want to restore? You can just sprint over and kill him, dude. Can I move no, one? Can. Heal. You can only move two. No, you can move as many. Well, no, uh, I can move one. I can move one for stamina. free. I can Just move run over and murder him. Okay, moving. <laughs> so move me over there. You get one. Him. Okay, and then right here. <laughs> yep. And then are you gonna right here? No, stab I'm him. right there. I can okay. stab him. From so you there. took one stamina. Okay, got it. One stamina. Yep. And then three. He's using three. Okay, give me. You. What do you want? Three black dice. One. Are you doing the big attack? Yeah. What's your big attacks dice? It's one automatic and then one, oh, okay. one dice. Yeah, so if he gets right, one on, hit, he kills him. If you roll oh. any hit, you kill him. <laughs> he rolled a hit, he dies. All right. Yeah, so that's two okay. hits. Try to roll on the board. I did try not, to roll in the dice. Not, not in my bathroom. Sorry, I don't know my own strength. <laughs> <laughs> if I him? miss, yeah, he killed him. I killed him. Ah. It's two hits. Good job. Bam. Encounter one. Yeah. It seems like Joe's our finisher. He just comes Bam. in See? after everybody's done all the work. Oh, here, bullshit. And Joe gets that one little cheap hit in. It's not cheap. All right, everybody reset your boards all here. All right. Yay. Nobody has any stamina or uh, health, uh, damage on them anymore. Dr. Evil, awesome. I did all it. All right, I get to run in now. Great. Okay, so now we all congregate by the next doorway. Token goes to Beard. Oh, no, I already had the, he had the token. Our it's beard my turn well, already had the token, now it goes to Dell. All right, well, so no, the next... It was, it was my turn, because he went last. You went first. You went last. Yeah, so I gave it to you now. Yeah. This is oh. the token that we're given. Yeah, for starting. Right. And and Joe, who went first last Well, you went first I went first last door. time and into the door. Why? Because he went last last time. Okay. He yeah, finished him off. You go. Okay, uh, so we have... On the sword icon, we have this guy. On the sword. On the sword. Why am I getting and blamed? This guy on the sword. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Two guys on the sword. <laughs> yep, those two guys. And then on the other one, we have. There's a the cross swords. Yep, the cross swords is one of these guys. Another one of those yeah, guys. One of these guys. And another crossbow guy. And another. <laughs> oh, and God. then traps. We have a, ch a mimic. Have fun. Oh, a mimic. Oh, we have a chest. Whatever no. the chest is. Trap on what? Yeah. It's a chest. Sorry, it's a chest. It's not. A, I think it's a not trap a icon. Trap. 
I don't know. God, I, I hope it's not a mimic. No, Please, no it's mimic. Not a, it's not a trap. That's it's just a, a chest. Yeah. It's a trap! Where is it? It's a trap. Uh, on the it's weird cross sideways <laughs> slashes. Dude, I would be afraid if that tea. was a mimic. Like, All right, we got a chest. We can get some cool equipment. I was going to say, how we do we get equipment kill, we gotta kill these without going back? Motherfuckers. Right, assassin going Bosses in the room first. have the cool stuff. We I'm gotta fucking get dead. Over here. Wait, what did Good luck, Del. Del. I'm fucking dead. Good luck, Del. I'm fucking dead. All he does is block. Just, just roll for days. I'm just gonna roll, roll around days. the entire room. Is, uh, Del, are any of these guys new? Have we encountered no. any new ones? Okay. So you should know how to work things then, yes? I'm gonna die. All right, well, do your thing you, while I look up something. All right, so move both of the hollow guys. Wait. Actually, I'll move Thank you, Jack. Should really go there? He doesn't have much HP. Right? I'm YOLOing oh, it, dude. This is Dex ten. build. Everybody's right? got 10. Yeah. Oh, then I'm, I'm YOLOing. I had six before. All right, so uh, both of those guys. Can you move the archers away, OJ, real quick? What? Move well, these guys back. You kind of do it one at a time. Yeah, I'm just going to set them up so they can all attack and I can just deal with it. <laughs> all right, so they're all moved. <laughs> Their movement's done. Okay, fuck my life. Uh, so, uh, all right, so I'm getting hit for four. That's my first. Oh, shit. And I'm going to roll. So I need <laughs> I need staminas. I'm going to use a stamina. Yeah, you I better. need two green dice. Well, okay. okay. <laughs> you better just roll for days. I'm man. rolling for days, dude. <laughs> Okay, and just for the record, if I successfully roll, I'm going to use my uh, my um, power thing, my heroic ability. Which is? If I successfully roll, I get to attack the person that attacked me. That would be cool. Okay, so. Scorpio, see you next time. Here's the time. roll. I did it. All right. I got a roll. So I take no damage, and I get to attack that shit. Where are you rolling to? I'm going to roll. <laughs> Okay. Actually, yeah, I'm going to roll and attack him as I'm rolling. If he stands back up. Where? Uh, he was right here. But I'm attacking while I rolled. Mm -hmm. I, don't so th I don't think you can. If you roll, It just says I get to attack as the person that attacked me. The enemy he dodged. Oh, okay. It just okay. says straight up that I get All right, to attack cool. I dodge. So I need one black dice. Two black dice. And I'm doing zero stamina attack. And I'm using my heroic, so that's flipped. Kill him. Nice. nice. Dead. Kill. Woo. Killed one. Dead a little too strong. So. All right. Are you taking care, you tracking your kills, Joe? Is that oh, yeah. That was. <laughs> <laughs> These are my kills, boy. So the other guy is stuck there because I rolled away from him. Uh, and then I get two crossbows. Yep. I am Cam. Resubscribe for two months. I'm going Joe to have to dodge man. two Keep crossbows. Again, Stuff, I'm going to brother. green dice and use another one. Thank you, my friend. It only costs one stamina? Yeah, wow. two rolls. In a row. I need uh, two green dice again. Two greens. I'm rolling. I'm rolling everywhere. I'm rolling on Zix. top of that guy. I'm rolling Welcome. on the Welcome. He likes it. He likes it when I'm up on his face like that. All right, here we go. <laughs> Roll. Oh, I got it. It doesn't matter what the that one next one is. It didn't matter. I got the roll. Nice. Okay, what happens? I dodged, dodged again. It. Now you All gotta right. dodge the next one. <laughs> I'm taking the next one, bro. Oh god. I'm gonna take that roll. All right. Do you All have right. any magic? I need one black dice. One black dice. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking die. No, you're not. You can do it. All right, dude. You're pro. It's MLG over here. I'm like playing Dex, man. I hit for two. Or block for two. And yeah. So you take one. Take? I take one damage. One damage. Oh, you already got that. All right. So then it's my turn. So where did that just happen? So this guy came at you yep. and did what? Uh, couldn't attack because I rolled away. Okay, and then this guy that you killed, you rolled, rolled away, away and hit him as he as yep. he, you know, And then this guy? I rolled to that guy, shot at me, and I, I uh, dodged to him. You dodged him, and then this guy shot you. And I blocked two out of three. Okay. And now I'm attacking the guy next to me. Okay. Attack Way the guy next to me. go, Del. Actually... <laughs> Well, he had to use a hero ability at the at the outset. So which was here, fine. here's the question, and I, I'm gonna say it before I do anything. No. If I run to the chest and open it, do I get the loot? No, no. I look it up. I want to know because well, if you, it's like first come first serve. Well, the cards uh, have icons on them, and yeah. you can't you can't use you can't it change if it's it not no matter what class. If it's for one of us, then it's for one of us. Stay classy. I was now. just curious. Stay classy. It's, Which ones are it's the It's not gear? generic to where everybody can use all of the items. Unfortunately, they do restrict it by class. Got it. So it's not going to matter. 
All right, I'm just going to kill that guy. You up. All right. Never going to let you down. All right, so I'm going to uh, just roll two black dice. I need another one. So he has... Um, where's his card? Right there. He's got only one He's health. got one health. I just have to roll... Uh, and you miss Three. Does he got to roll three? Nope. You, wow, you, you whiffed it. What the hell? I've whiffed. <laughs> it's karma. Fuck. Which it's means karma. They activate again. Yep, mm -hmm. but the sword guy can't get to me. So So the sword guy is, uh, does he go after? He goes one space one towards space me. towards you. But he can't get to me because I'm one space away. This guy sh walks backward one. Yep. And let's move him here. He fires at you for three. I'm going to roll. Roll what? Um, stamp, like, dodge roll. Fangs will. I will win. All right. Dodge rolling. Which alone will Got win. it. <laughs> I roll into him. You're going gonna to roll into Finish him. Finish him. Yep. Okay. And then this guy shoots you back here. I'm going to roll again. And he's already <laughs> furthest away. You're going to... You can dodge again. Yep. All or nothing. You're gonna roll into him. I'm gonna roll behind the archer. You're gonna roll behind the archer. Yep. Didn't and get it. Miss. You failed that, so you take all of the three damage. Yep. Are you still alive? Yeah, for sure. Oh fuck. How much do you have? Uh, a lot. I have five health left, or four. Okay. Oh okay. Yeah, I'm fine. That's not. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. So we need to get in there and save his ass now. This feels weird. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like a rush to save the first guy who goes in. It's like I'm he's gonna being an idiot. Okay, so hold on. What were you gonna say? Realistically speaking, I think having two activations on the same person is wrong, because it would make sense for they activate after, but that means in boss battles, that first dude that comes in is fucked. We'll see how boss yeah. battles work. We haven't gotten there yet. Yeah, yeah. Everybody so let's not, fucked then, because it's not like, didn't everybody die? So, I gotta go save Del, uh, and I will spend one that don't doesn't have cost to. me anything. Nope. Del, do you want me to... Y'all guys can handle this guy, right? Can you kill... Yeah, This just, guy or this guy? I'd kill, he's gonna go after this you. This one? Get the archer. He's gonna come after me? Yeah, I'll go he's after, going after you. So, I'll get him. Okay, then I guess I'll go after this guy. One stamina to move into his space. And I will use the four fucking stamina to make sure I, I yeah. hit him. Uh, so hopefully nobody turns around and attacks me. They're both going to. They're both going to attack me? They attack the threat token. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm not going to do the four stamina. I'm just going You still to... have your heroic action, so. No, I used that already. No, it reset because we went into a new room. No, right? it only oh, resets yeah, when you go back yeah. to the spawn. So I'm only going to roll one blue die, but I only need to, what, get what, three? Is he how? Uh, he has, block? you have to get a three, yep. Fuck. I think I will actually go to sleep. Sorry, you only have to get two on Sorry, that guy. Goodness. It's two, you have to get two. <laughs> I understand. All yeah, day. roll the blue and you get two and kill him. <laughs> Screw Little time zones. Hmm? Let me get the mic off oh, yeah. here. Take it. Okay, no, no, good night. <laughs> Rolling takes stamina, but it takes one stamina per roll, and it resets when I activate. Bye, I get two stamina I'll back. See you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. What'd you say? Oh, uh, chat was asking a question. Okay. Yeah, you only so have to do two damage. <laughs> only have to do two? Yep. I'll do it anyway. <laughs> two or more, and he dies. I would just do the He's blade. only going to go... Here's, here's what an alternate thing. I move in. Zero. One, two... He's going to try to come after me, but he's yep. not going to reach me. Uh, I used two stamina to do that. And um, this guy I'm more likely going to kill. Mike Hawk, welcome! <sighs> I fucking failed. Uh, yeah, I have the thirst for battle. Alright, well Just he doesn't take any damage. So I did the more likely thing and I still failed. Fuck. Okay, that's fine. Well, now both archers are now, shooting at you. Both, now, he's coming after me. We can choose which direction he goes. Your hero's coming next. This. Don't worry about it. He would go directly at you. No, it's, yes. It says straightforward. On his movement. Oh, I don't know why I thought that that yeah. was uh, there. Yeah, he comes directly after me. Yep. Uh, this guy moves away from Everyone's me. Gonna yep. Everyone's going to die. Everyone's going to die. The other guy moves uh, away from me. <laughs> It's up to us. Is this magical shit? Yep, it's magical up to us. Shit That's gonna, what I'm worse. We gotta save him. What? What happened? 
He missed. He missed. Oh, no. <laughs> That's okay. I missed a double dice roll. I take so. two damage from the first archer, second archer. Mm. I go away for one minute and everybody's Three dying. Three full damage. I just took five damage in a single turn. Fuck! I'm getting fucked! Okay. Who's OJ's com coming next? in, dude. OJ. I'm a uh, shank him. You're coming in? You gotta spend one stamina to move to him. I can't. I have my spear. Yeah, so. got spear. Oh, you got a spear, so you don't have to do anything. Shank his ass. But... I will. Should I use my automatic? Yes. I would yeah. use your big one. Use my big one. Because you get two stamina back next time, so. Keep your stamina. You gotta do two damage to kill him. He's dead. Three damage. Yay. Dead. My body counts are growing. Fangwell, I'm thirsty for blood, I told you. <laughs> Saving me right now. All I'm right, so now don't leave again. Both crossbow guys are shooting at OJ and they're not going to move. What? Okay. <laughs> Joe, are you going to, do you have the ability to dodge? Or are you, what's your uh, magical resistance on your armor? One. One. Okay, so Is you, that the dodge? Yeah, that's the dodge. I have a dodge. You can roll one. All right. Do you want to try to dodge? What's the, uh, look, look at your talisman. Does it have a dodge as well? Uh, no, it is not okay, zero. Then. What about your sword? Sword is zero. Okay, so then you only get one. Yep. All right, so you're either going to roll one black dice and ne negate some of the three damage, or you're going to go all or nothing and try to dodge it and take all three or miss all three. I'm going to dodge it. You're gonna I'm feeling dodge. lucky. Okay, there you go. Seven. Yeah. Dodge. Where are you dodging Successful to? Dodge. I'm dodging to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where? I'd go left. I'm going to go over here. I can't go across. Yeah, you can. Okay. Go there. Okay, do Joe, dodge the first one. What about the second one? Dodge to me. I'm going to dodge it again. Recover my stamina to You're me. you try to dodge again? Yes. There you go. Seven. Good luck, Joe. Damn it! Didn't dodge. Rolled to me though. You failed that dodge. Can take I... three damage. Then you use a stamina. Did you use your stamina to dodge? And where are you, you gonna did. roll to? Roll to me. I could roll right there. Here? Yeah. Okay, the rolls that way. Okay, enemies go. We still have two bone uh bone oh wait no. Oh they just went. They just went. It's beard. So yeah, like, they just did. Okay, Beard, you used one All three right. to get in the room. Let's do this! Now, do you want to sprint across the entire room? Yes. You need to use two does, that three will stamina. Do one, That's fine. Two, three stamina. Alright, give me give me one more stamina. But you know what, you, Beard, come this way, bro, because these guys are this guy surrounded and I have three health left. Alright. One, yeah, let's two, do it. Alright, now I'm gonna to <laughs> attack him with my battle axe, so I need two black dice. Okay. Oh, oh. Shit. Damn. No Only damage. One. No, no damage. damage. Fuck. Okay, they fire against you. Give me. They're already backed into a corner. And so, what would you like to do? Are you dodging? First one, you... I'm gonna block. With what? One. With one. Did you okay, take away one. one health or one stamina from Beard for From rolling? me. Because it says all characters within. Range. Oh, you removed a stamina for me? Re nice. Re All I right. gain one stamina. So I take one damage. You take one damage. And this guy over here shooting you from across I'm the I'm going to block that as well. I'm going to try to block it. Actually, yeah, yeah, I'm going to block it. Because okay. I don't want to move. You and blocked one of them. Yep, so I'll take two. <laughs> okay. Uh, so he's covering your face, Dell. <clears throat> that uh, ain't Dell. Dell, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, I'm going to... Move to the guy closest to OJ. So left. You're right. Yeah, there you go. And then I'm going to attack him. Thrust and parry. With a full... Actually, I'm going to attack him with just two black. Two black. Yep. They shoot the guy with a token. That's who the archers go I for. I killed him. He's dead. Yep. Huzzah! All right, the archer way over here shoots you. I'm just going to roll. You're going to roll. Two dodges. Yep. Nope. I got no. it again. You failed the dodge. Oh, I suck at being dex. I need three red. Oh, Are you Jesus. almost dead? No, I'm fine. Yeah, but how much help do you have? Three. 
Okay, it's my turn. Uh, Don't I, get hit again. <laughs> it's fine. You have an entire turn. I got, three, I, I got three health left. However, I get rid of my two stamina. This is the first time I get to get rid of stamina. It's the beginning of my turn. You get rid of two stamina. So now technically I have five health to work with. Uh, but I need to uh, move one space, which costs me. That's free. Um, and then I can either do a big attack for four, which would leave me at one health. That doesn't seem... Uh, smart, or I can do Me. zero for just one black, no one blue. You can but I could fail this, you know. Fuck. That's <laughs> all right. Or I could just say fuck it and go. Nah. But then he go would then big. just need yeah. to hit me once. So I, I would say that's just too do the blue. scary. That's too scary. So I'm just gonna go one blue, and all I need is what two. Two. Yeah. Two. Boom. Woo! Yay! All, all right. this is right. also we're up to twenty four souls. Counter over. And we have 24 souls. Why? Because we didn't get the 8 from this room, and we just got 8 from that room. Huzzah! 8 and 8. Actually, we get more than 8, don't we? You get 8 per room. Per character. Yeah, 2 per playing. character. Yep. 2 per character, no matter how many enemies Not, are not there. enemies, yeah. The yeah. enemies Char don't oh, okay. Just any character. Okay, so we, we completed our third encounter. We just need one more counter, and then we go to the boss. I want to buy something this? with my souls. All right, wait a minute, Joe. Wait a minute. <laughs> All right, we got a, a treasure box here. Let's see what that does. It gives me a brand new greatsword. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Come on, the exiled this is a monster. Greatsword. How about that? Dude, that would suck. <laughs> yeah, it would. Because you, you know You're about dead. mimics, right? Yes. Oh, You're my dead. God. <laughs> mimics are the worst I thought OJ enemies. opens it. Fuck no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can I use my spear? <laughs> Just poke, poke, poke at it. it. I want to attack the box. Wonton Sushi. Nobody has died yet. So we got that going for us. <laughs> got close. Yeah. Got real close. So the other thing is we should spend our souls. Well, well if, that's what... Hang on. If we spend our souls, we have to l lose a spark. Fuck Basically the spark. Basically dying. I and, say we wait until and we have we to do die. it all over really? again. Yes, unfortunately, that's, that's not how the game works. You just go to the bonfire. Well, this well, is I'll, the board game. Let me let me, let me double check that. Anyway, yeah. chest tokens should be placed within the uh, chest phase. Uh, chest block movement. If the party defeats the encounter, they can flip over the chest to the open side and immediately draw two cards from the treasure deck. All right, let's do it. Draw two cards from the treasure deck. Wazow. Treasure. Wazow. Treasure. Treasure. There's no icon on the back of the cards. It's all the same. Yep, they're all treasures. Characters, uh, if the party defeats the encounter, they flip it open two cards. Characters who meet the stat requirements may immediately re equip the revealed items. Items that players do not equip go to the inventory. Once open chips are never flipped back to close. So what do we get? So they're flipped open. We got Elkhorn Round Shield. Corn, I love corn. This is limited <laughs> to one of the classes uh, with the, I don't know, sword symbol. I think that's me. You can equip this in one hand while you have a weapon in your other hand. Yeah. So round know. shields are generally dex. The small circular shields, they oh. have a roll on them and they have low defense. Uh, and then worker's armor, anybody can wear. It's a piece of shit looking rag. Uh, <laughs> it's got one black defense <laughs> and physical, but it's got one black defense against magical. Wait, my knight armor has that. Yeah. So it's garbage. Well, Does it, it might have it's, it's got two of the squares. What the hell is that? That last symbol at the bottom of that card. What is, symbol is that? That is a upgrade slot. Oh, you can upgrade it. Okay. An upgrade. How many times the equipment can be upgraded at the blacksmith? Yeah, but... Oh, I guess it can be upgraded. What a piece of shit. But the, the shield is a lot better because that gives two defense against magic and that's what i've been desperately needing and i think it's limited to my magic. class so i'm gonna go with my class see. yeah let's yeah here's the... does it have a roll on it let me see let's see thank well round shield why do you not have any faith in me uh, sir no i think everyone has the sword yeah. see like everyone's got that same which thing. one i don't uh you can equip this in one hand while you have a shield in the other hand What's the roll value? Somebody One. turned up. It needs 34 decks. Or does oh, it? Oh, yeah, it's yeah, it's 34 those. decks. 34 decks. So it's a would, dexterity his, character. His it's tier own. four. Mm -hmm. We can't even, or it's tier three. Can't even use it. Damn. 
Um, Tier 3? Yeah, yep. it'll be a while before we can even use it. So those two cards we got fucked because there's like this huge deck. Here, I just want to see what happens when we draw two new ones. Okay. Yeah, Joe's going to refill the batteries that can't hear you right now. All right. The next two that we drew are the Dragon Slayer's Axe <laughs> and the Dragon Tooth. We good? Is That's that, a strength yeah, weapon. Good. I'll take that strength weapon. <laughs> uh, we need the axe. Do you have an axe symbol or it, something? Those uh, symbols don't matter. If yeah. Look it's at the all stats. stats. Okay. The stats is 37 strength. Can't use it. 35 strength. Can't use it. 15, 15, 15, <laughs> 25. Nobody can use it. Holy crap, dude. I have to go to tier 3 to actually use that. Those are both in-game weapons. I would have to go to tier 3 to use that. Okay, again, tier 3 weapons. We got fucked. And it says to shuffle all these. I think that they should have broken down this into tiers. Here we go. I shuffled them a lot. I know you shuffled them a, a lot, lot Joe. <laughs> this one, we got a Claymore and a Sunlight Straight Sword. Tier 5. This one, we can actually... Uh, Claymore, 30-30. Uh, straight Sword, 15-15. 30, last one. 30 Faith. So basically, tier 3 again. Yep, all tier 3. I could use the sword. No, it's 30 you can't. Faith. It's 30 Faith. 30 Faith. Oh, okay. <laughs> These are all tier 3s. Dark so I will get one uh, hit on the boss. Again, I guarantee two. that. You have to grind, dude. That's what they were saying. You you have to grind. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's insane. It's But you, the, the amount of grinding is actually insane. You're supposed to go back to the bonfire and reset the rooms and go back in and reset the yeah, rooms. Yeah, but you can't do that because you only have two sparks. No, you can reset it without losing a spark because that's how you reset the rooms. The sparks are when you die. I'll, sh I'll show you, I'll show you yeah. in a second, but I think you might be right. All yeah. right, so let's... So now it is our... Because going back to the blacksmith would cost a spark. I'm diving into this for the fourth time as if we opened four chests... And finally, we get something usable on tier one, which we're cheating, and we went to tier Shh, one instead don't say of that. base tier. <laughs> House uh, rules. <laughs> uh, Titanite shard. What does this do? Upgrading. That's for upgrading. It's an upgrade, and it makes one more, uh, one plus one damage to your weapon. Yep. Nice. And great magic weapon. And this it requires like your attacks time. are magical. This activation, <laughs> if you spend zero stamina. Or if you spend two stamina, your attacks gain plus one damage and are magical this activation. What's the intelligence requirement? Intelligence requirement 12 and 12. And oh, shit. Zero I have zero. 12. So let's just say we drew these two to make it more fun. So, well, who has the most kills? Probably me. <laughs> me. It's, it's uh, actually OJ. Excuse Isn't me. It? I it's killed actually, three. He killed three. Oh. And I killed quite a few at the beginning. I haven't been counting my kills like you, Joe. Whose fault is that? To do you that. just Three. said who has I most mean, kills. I, just I counted say, my kills. I killed and two guys. And now me. <laughs> I'll Rochambeau yeah, you one. for it. I, go I killed first. two guys in this room, first. and I killed one in that room. All right, Joe. So I got three. What do you want? Do you want to flip for it to make your attacks magical, or do you want plus magical. one damage? Do the magic. I'm gonna right. help people. I help people. Since I'm the tank. And I usually seem to probably get most. I'm gonna take this. I think okay. everybody's the tank. No, I'm everybody's the tank. No, because everyone has to go into the room first. I know. <laughs> everyone is the tank. <laughs> yeah. All right. <clears throat> so that is done. Let's, Next. Let's go back and spend our souls. And All just right. Well, let me just that show you this. Yeah. Resting at bonfires, what you're looking for. Yep. Yeah. When the party is defeated in an encounter, the characters must rest at the bonfire. The party may also choose to rest at the bonfire anytime they are on the bonfire tile. Resting at the bonfire restores many of the characters' limited resources, but it also resets the encounter cards. Uh, this means the players will have to fight the enemies from those encounters all over again, but it means they can collect additional souls from those encounters. Okay. So, I think you're right. We Technically, we have to run all the way over here, use our stamina, oh, but no. it doesn't, it there's, doesn't there's really... There's a door right there. Well, it doesn't really matter because nothing's going to pop up unless we left people on the board, which you can leave people on the board. Um, but no, everything comes back. God damn it. Is what it said. Yeah, I know that. Once we reach the bonfire. Oh, we lost Dell. We lost Dell? Batteries. My battery is fine. Mm. It's full. It's the other one. Oh. So, we should reset and spend our... 44 souls and just fight that room again. No, I'm gonna keep going. Let's 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 keep going before we go to the boss. We'll do it. We only have one more room. No, but if we go there, we have to refight the rooms again. 
No, we don't have to fight. There. If we go do what you want to do, we have to refight all the rooms. If we go to that room, clear it, and then go back to the bonfire, the rooms reset. Yeah, if they also reset if we go back now. Yeah, I know, but if we do it now, we have to fight two. Or if we do it then, we have to fight two rooms, whereas if we reset right now, we only have to fight one extra. Because we just go back where we came. What? If, what if are we, you talking about? If we clear... He's right, he's right. Yeah. Sure, you don't have to go into those areas. No. We could just right. cut through this area. Yep. He's saying, go back to the bonfire now. This one will reset. We'll go through it. If we came into here, they both reset, and we'd both have to go through yep. it right. again. So, all right, guys. We're running back to the bonfire. Go! Uh, 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 okay. Everybody reset your health. Get your stamina back. Reset all your tokens. So we had three encounters, and we got quite a bit of souls to spend over here. Let's see uh, what we can spend Seems those weird on. that health gets restored after clearing a room. I would think that health damage would stay, unless yeah, you use health, an Estus. Health gets cleared after an encounter, which wow. is an entire room, yeah. That makes it way easier. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Because in the game, you only have limited. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like in the game, but it's you have like... to understand that all of the encounters we just did have been low level, level encounters. Ones, yeah. Level ones. There are level twos and there are level threes. We're about to hit a level two. That's the first level two on the board over there. And then we're gonna hit a mini boss right now. And Joe's going in first. Yeah. <laughs> Kyh9, thank you so much for your resubscription of 23 months. Nice. A long time. Thank you for being with us. Not, not. Almost two years. All right, so we're back at the bonfire home base. Souls are the currency of Dark Souls, a board game, and are used in numerous ways when interacting with player characters. Blacksmith Andre and the Firekeeper. The soul cash usually starts at zero soul tokens, but in the game with just one player, you start with 16, but we didn't start with one player. Blah, blah, blah. All right, moving on. Oh, you can play this solo. Blacksmith. When the party returns to the bonfire between encounters, they may visit Blacksmith Andre to purchase treasure, change equipment, or upgrade equipment. To purchase treasure, remove one soul from the soul cache, draw the top card from the treasure jack, and reveal it. Any character who meets the stat requirements may equip the item if they wish. If no character <laughs> equips the item, place it in the inventory. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Let's do it. The only limit... Really? Damn, we got a lot of money there. Characters can change equipment only when they visit the blacksmith. To change equipment, a player may move any weapon or armor card from their character board to the inventory and move any weapon or armor from the inventory to their character board. Okay, that's, uh, we can also upgrade equipment. Okay. Let's all just get six Here's the souls. fire keeper. The party may visit the fire keeper to level up and to restore luck. To level up, a character basically must spend soul to increase one of their oh, stats. To increase a base stat to tier one, cost two souls. To increase tier two, cost four souls. To increase to tier uh, three, cost eight souls. Each stat upgraded individually and characters level up individually. Okay, here's what I recommend. We all get six. We all get six? Yeah, because there's four of us and there's 24, so we all get six souls. And we do whatever we want. Okay, you all get six souls. Do whatever you want. What do you? Well, let's start with Dell. What do you want to do with your six souls? So I'm already tier one. Mm -hmm. So to upgrade to tier three. You're, no, you want to go from tier one to tier three. Yeah. From tier one to tier two, four souls. From Got tier it. two to tier three, eight souls. So eight, I nine, ten, it, eleven, yeah. twelve. You need twelve souls. You can't do it. So. Can you just max out your level after like one clear of a room? No, there's, we're not even no, close to No, we have maxing. to split the souls. You ain't taking right. my souls. No, no, no Ooh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But like eight souls is all you need per person to go to tier No, three. it costs eight it's to go from three, two to three. So oh. two, so it's okay. two, four, twelve, four. It costs 12 eight. right now. Yeah, so okay, I was going to say. I'm it's like, actually more than that. We're cheating. We're starting at yeah. tier one when we should. No, let's play the game right. So we're all at tier. We're all at Son of a bitch. You can't, all right. you can't use your magic. You had to open yet. your mouth, didn't you? <laughs> Yeah, beard. Thanks for opening God damn it. Well, OJ can't use his magic then. God damn it. <laughs> Give no. Give me your magic card, Joe. No. Give me your magic card, no. Joe. Give me your magic card, Joe. Well, give me my give stuff me back. Give me your magic card. Give me my money back. I'm giving you shit. <laughs> Son of a but bitch. here's the good thing, Joe. It goes into our inventory. This is everybody's inventory. Yeah. Once you reach that level, you come over here, I'll give it to you. That's right? bullshit because. Well, you can reach it right now. You got six points, right? To go from base to tier one costs two souls. You could upgrade three, yeah. 
and you need what? Uh, 12 and 12 on intelligence and faith. Do you want to give me four souls and you can have this back? I don't want it. Four souls, you can have this back. I don't want it now. You don't want it now. <laughs> they decided <laughs> to not cheat. Now people will die. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we did that with Shit. base level items, okay? Well, we weren't. Uh, what, the cheating didn't actually factor in at all yeah, until it now. Because um, Joe didn't even use his, his weapon yet. Joe, nope. I mean, give me four souls, you can have that. I don't know if I want if it. I'm, I if I'm being honest, you do want it. You, do want it. you can change your attacks to magical, plus you get one, plus one damage if you spend. But what, you'll see, what I needed uh, hold upgrade. On. Spend, spend two. Let's see, to you have upgrade six, right? What? You, got, you got six souls, right? Yeah. You can spend one You'd have to, spend to search four. through these cards, right? So you could spend two souls to look at these cards to see if they're better than that other card. And... And then spend four if they're not better to get that, you know. See, basically that's. I'm gonna buy so it's since I went first. Like I'm you, gonna you go know two. about those, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Give me them two. He's buying these two from the top of the that deck. That would make your spear. Hell yeah. goes your equipment. Go. So and then. Uh, <laughs> they were both heals. They were both heal cards. Okay. So I'm going to. <laughs> I don't want it. One of them. I'm using this one. <laughs> if I can grab it. This one From is here to there, I do what I want, right? <laughs> it's called Heal Aid, but you need 13 Faith. Do you have 13 I'm faith? going to level up to I have 13 it. Faith. So here's the thing, OJ. Are you going to use Magic Weapon or Heal? Magic. Then you're going to Heal. Are you going to Heal or... Because we got two spells now. God damn it. <laughs> Those are Joe's shit. It is. It doesn't say his class, and mm -hmm. I paid for him. And it does say classes. There are class restrictions in this game. Not on the back of these cards, Not though. Not on the top of the top right. Top right's chest. Anybody Wait, can use it. Chest only, or yep. is there a little icon? It's a no, chest. No, no, it's like an actual chest. Yeah, anybody can use anything if it comes from a chest. Yeah, that's a chest. Anybody can use that, and that is a chest. Anybody can use that. All right, so, so what's, what are you doing? Doug? I'm deciding. Uh, Decide what's faster. your tier two faith number, OJ? 22. What's the requirement on the... Uh, Pick it up. The super heal. <laughs> super heal requires 23. So if you used all your souls and you got to tier three or tier two on your faith okay. character, you could use the big heal, which heals people for four health. Um, or you could just level up once and use this. Why is Joe getting a decision here? Isn't this your turn? Because I'm deciding so I know which one to go for. It's for the good of the team. I guess I will heal people. I will be the healer. Yeah. What What's the do? requirement on this? Well, I will be a knight. I'm tired of people telling you what to do. I will be a knight. Be a magical <laughs> be a fighter. <laughs> so do you don't want to do that? Be no, a I'll wizard. Be a I'm be a wizard. Yeah, there you go. I'm a wizard, Harry. I'm using the <laughs> other two what people tell you be. Joe, do you want to be a I want to be a, a wizard. These <laughs> are going in you the thing. Be a princess, Joe? Can I shoot ice? Yes. Yes. <laughs> you want to be a princess? Yes. <laughs> do you want to be a cop? Yes. <laughs> Do you want to be a janitor, Joe? <laughs> no, no. no? Princess you get wizard. To shoot. I you get will to shoot. be a healer. <laughs> okay, I'm using magic weapon. Though. Okay, fine. I grabbed two stats and the other souls. I'm gone. And you spent all your souls? Yep. And all your right. beard. You got six so souls. I've got six. All right, I'm going to spend two of them on items. Okay, two cards. Let's see what we got. All right, got two Titanite shards. Okay. That's cool. kind of shitty. Well, no, you can upgrade if you want, uh, but nothing can be upgraded. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I, it's I'm shitty. getting the impression this is like an eight-hour game. Okay, so I got four left. I'll, I'll right. spend That's another two. Two-hour game. So this, I'll None spend another two. I'm, I'm getting the eight-hour game. Did you put this hours. in the inventory? I'm, yeah. Yes, all those exactly. are in the inventory. All these are in the inventory. Yeah, I'll put. I'll spend another two on. Uh, well, basically, what it is is they're lying like a motherfucker on that box that says two hours. Uh, no, I think it says ninety to one hundred twenty minutes. There's Not no way. No way. And yeah. Anyway, what? Uh, spend another two on equipment. Another two on equipment. Two more tight night shows. OJ. I will upgrade. Spend all your uh, points on your Wait, it's still his turn. Oh. He's got how much? He, ooh, got, he ooh, got two souls ooh. left. Damn. We can do this simultaneous, Joe. Yes. Gonna I'm going to go to tier one for my faith. Go to you, tier four and you you're can gonna use the big heal. You're going to have even more faith. Tier four? Or tier three. Tier uh, two and you God. can use the big heal. Okay. It'll use I'm going to keep souls, this. Okay. That's going to go in the inventory. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm going to spend my last two on this equipment. Give Joe the last two on my card. Yeah. Joe, what do you want? My card over there, and it's in the inventory. Heal. Okay, you want that uh, magic thing? Wait, what? The greater heal. 
greater heal. Yes. So big heal. Oh! 24 heal aid. I'd be like Miss Miyagi. There you go. Damn, I gotta be tier three for that. Yeah, what is that, a dex weapon? It's Lothric's holy sword. Uh, it's faith. Yeah, it's faith and strength. What is this? And I also got Faram armor. <sighs> but that's uh, also gonna some, take uh, a while. Jerky? That's 29 <laughs> strength, so I have to get to tier two. Ew. Yeah, tier two. I'll be able to use the Faram armor. So uh, did you use all your uh, souls? Yes, from? I did. All right, so we only got, just six got souls shots, left in so. here. I know. That's my yeah. turn. Okay. I, I spent I'm all six do. of mine on equipment. I'm gonna draw two. Okay, so that goes over there. Right. Everybody has I'm gonna, I'm gonna work to try to Good get this God. Faram armor, Fucking all right? bullshit. I'm <laughs> saying right now I want that Faram armor. Uh, I'm gonna draw another two. So how much does it take to get from tier one to tier two? Two. 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 What's a, oh, what's a tier one to two, two is Castius. four. Is this so in the game? Six to get there from base. Composite bow and Castius. What is a Castius? Cestus. It's a Cestus. fist weapon. This attack can be used while this item is in the so backup I 12 slot. Souls. Oh fuck yeah! I can actually do something. I'm gonna equip the uh, iron knuckles. The fucking Sestus. Sestus. It's a fisty cuffs. Why don't they just call it? Um, fuck it, Sestus. What does it do? It gives me two more black dice, and it can be used while this item is in the backup slot. That's fucking crazy. Here, you want to see it? That's probably the the best <laughs> low-level card that you could get. But it uses three stamina to do that. I know. So if you were attacking with both but weapons, I could use, I, oh, it does you'd use have to do stamina. six stamina. You'd be doing a lot of stamina. You'd be fucked, if, especially since that deep. fucked. Unless it yeah. was the like the last fucking guy. But I don't care. I'm putting on that fucking gauntlet, yeah. and I'm putting my sword, so I'll be like, <laughs> I'll be like, slash... Punt? No. You are, you already okay. have a gauntlet on okay. there. You're I a have knight. a gauntlet on this. <laughs> you have a gauntlet on your gauntlet. <laughs> I, I put the shield on my back, I punch you, then I stab you, then I pull the shield back. All right? Also, for yeah. the sake of it getting light, we should try fighting the mini boss. No, nah, man, we're playing the game. Anyways. Play to win the game. Moving on. So, we're done with the bonfire. Uh, the encounter is nice. reset. And so, here's a, an encounter, here's an encounter, and here's an encounter. I suggest we go straight. We go this straight way. The now, the reason why you might want to come back into these is if we're grinding. You know, yeah. Final Fantasy style, we might find chests here. But because it's so low level, chests don't pop up very often. So I'm going to say, yeah. fuck this, fuck this, and let's go uh, here, here, and let's hit the boss. Let's do it. Hell yeah, let's do it. Go. You're the oh, entry person. Yeah. I'm the entry person, Knight. I'm coming in. And revealing the card, what do we got? Luckily, not not too bad. We got uh, a chest, woo, and a tombstone. And if you can bring out that guy, I think that's the first time we've seen that. Dark Hollow. A chest. So a second chest is out. Here you go. Yeah. I need his card. Well, actually, maybe this chest doesn't happen because I need only... his card. Ooh. Wait, no, that's a dark hollow. What the fuck is a dark hollow? Because this is a large hollow shoulder. Your soldier. Oh, there we go. Now I got it. I got him. I got him. Praise the, the sun. Yeah, this is him. No, the, the <laughs> uh, there it is. Things well, it's not my fault. <laughs> he has five health. Guys, a chomp. I'll take him. And he hits for four. He's like a bitch. He AoEs for five damage. <laughs> Holy crap. Don't worry, I heal. It's going to cost you, though. Is he like a mini boss? Like, what no, the he's hell? just a large hollow soldier. What the fuck, man? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fucking die. He can only move. Where does he spawn? For sure. He spawns. You tell me. He spawns. It's on the event the card that you took the, from me. Oh, I took it. The dark hollow card. The deadly hollows. Psycho Girl! We subscribed for 20 right months! Thank you so much, Psycho oh, Girl. Uh, it's not this. It was You took it from me. I don't know where you put it. Son of a bitch. Oh, it's right there. You put it right here. Mm. It's the single sword. So he's not getting to you until we're all in the room if you just pass. Okay. Or you just try to walk away. So you hit him. Or grab the chest. Okay. So it's his turn. 
So he activates. What's his speed? One forward, always towards. He's coming towards me. Yep. Towards towards what? Closest. Okay. Where's the activation? <laughs> uh, where's the aggro? Uh, aggro uh, token right, there. right yeah. there. No, this is the turn That's... token, oh. which we don't need because we keep okay. track. They need a plastic aggro token, like flames. That's what I'm gonna have yes. in my game. I have flames for my uh, revenge. revenge token. That's cool. All right. Um. So luckily, he didn't get to do anything to me. Uh, however, if I go after him, he will get to do something to me. So I will probably take Dell's advice, and we will uh, form single column. Single column. I'll go this way for zero stamina. I'll go the other way. You go this way. I'll go this way. Yeah, we're gonna flank him. I think OJ has the best chance of killing him. Let's do so it. If you can attack it, it, from range. We, we gotta point this out. So say he's here. When he attacks, he's gonna hit these. He, he can attack one away? He attacks Stop. one in front of him and away in a three diagonal. What? Let me see that. Because he's got a five. His, he does five damage diagonally in all three directions in front of him oh. in a one distance. Okay. So he can, he can hit all three of these when he attacks. But he's here right now. Yeah, I know. I was just so giving an example. He's going to come here. Yep, and then he can hit the one you're this, on. This, that, yep, this. That's it. Yep. Yeah, so you want to you try to hit him from behind. Is what I'm going to do. Yeah. Because if I get hit, I'm fucking dead. So, <laughs> yeah, no so, so basically and what you do a, is... A, uh, I was going to try to come around, but there, you, there's terrain here now, so yeah. I'm going to try to come around. Basically what I would say is dodge him into him way. and try to dodge through him, behind him, and then attack him the next time from behind. Because yeah, he has to stay facing forward in that turn, you know? Yeah. Oh, I know. All right, no, I got it, I got it. Check yeah. this out. I'm going to go, uh, instead of, you know, so I'm going to do... So he, so he activates first. Now it's my turn. Yep. This cost me zero. One, two. Is he gonna attack the closest or the yeah, aggro? Yeah, closest. Fuck! Just take the hits. It's just one guy. No, you take the hit. You went first into the room. It's one guy. Yeah. No. What I'm saying is, he continues to attack the person closest to him. Always. So I'm not gonna go that way because he's not gonna turn around and come after Young. Well, that, that's the thing. If you turn him around, we can all come in from behind him and hit him. And he won't Take hit him. Yeah, while all the attacks go to me. You're a tank. And you I don't can want heal us you. to get hit. I can heal you for four. He can heal you for four. Man, over and over. Fuck y'all, fine. <laughs> this is a team. <laughs> you said you wanted to be the tank, right? Yeah, but You're doing the job. Get, all right. Just, get just stay there. Stay there for right now. Stamina. <laughs> stay there for right now. He used his turn. He couldn't get to you. So he activates again. And he's gonna only attack you once. No, I'm trying. If I'm if I'm being a good tank, five damage. Be aggressive. He does five in an AOE to the three spots in front of him. That's ridiculous. He's a boss. He's, a he's not a boss. He's no, like he's a, just he's, he's a big guy. Are you using a the big wrong guy. card? No, no. It's the large hollow soldier. That's him. And he's got an attack range of one. He's got five health. Only one armor though. And fire, what is that? Front, yeah, okay. Yeah, so Bambino. All right, fuck no, it. Not. He come, he's coming here. He does five. I have a choice to uh, try to dodge or uh, block some of it with my shields. I will. One black from my shield, one blue from my armor, and I will try to mitigate five damage with these two. I blocked two. three of the damage, so I took two damage yep. so uh now it's one of y'all's oj oj which one are I'm you flank him okay spear. so you're gonna come here for free mm -hmm. you can hit him from here or you can go here which you will no longer be in his death range in, in his he's yeah. hitting these three unless he goes after the skull in which case he doesn't he doesn't. He goes after the he closest. He goes after the closest, yeah. and if and when it's a tie, it's the person who last activated. So he's gonna do Joe anyway. So Joe, you're gonna have to take a hit. So it doesn't Am matter. I? It doesn't matter your uh, fancy. So okay, I'm gonna hit him. So if it doesn't matter, then don't spend a stamina, right? Just go here. And, and I'm him. gonna hit him. Okay. Right, what are you gonna hit? That him puts with? Joe closer still. I think. Or actually, Joe, if you go here and spend one stamina, I won't have to get hit. Because he's going here, here, here. If you stay here, then he's going to go here, here, here. Yeah. So, Judd, spend one stamina, please. 
I'm quarterbacking. God damn Where's it! This, card? this card's over at Joe. Ah, oh, let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna have to dodge okay. later. Whose card? The Hollis. The, the guy. Oh, sorry, the big guy. Yeah. Okay. Um, seven. It was on my assassin guide. You ready? Seven. Yeah. Seven. Why do you keep saying seven? You're rolling one dice. Three damage. Three so, damage. So you block two of it. You take three damage. What? I hit, I'm, He's attacking. I'm attacking. You're attacking him. Yeah, he did it's three damage. So the guys, he takes uh, two damage. He's down to three health. Two damage. He's yeah. down to three health. I'm gonna hit him Joe, again. Joe, when you say it's your saying, but you're even <laughs> saying your own saying wrong. But he doesn't have range. Your saying is he has seven. No, he doesn't. It's not <laughs> seven. He has no range. Oh, he has no then range. That's not so he has to be on top of seven. He can't. Can I just so leave? I fucked up. God what? damn it! He has no range. He has no range. He has you no range. So you nobody took me. damage. No. Nobody no. took damage. I hate you. All right, nobody took damage. But he's moving on top of OJ. But then he now he can do damage to yep. OJ because he would have moved to OJ. See, I and then he did well, and yeah, like no, if he oh, if, if I would have been case, over there, if he swings. He does an AOE. All right, man. Fuck all y'all. We're doing all this over with. What That's fudge? what's happening. So what happened is. I came into the damn room. Bullshit down. Right? He moved. He, come, he moved. And then I do my activation, uh, which is zero here. Then he came here. He can't reach us. Then Joe comes in the room here. I'm attacking. He attacked him. him. Okay. Attacked okay. Him. He did his damage. Joe did two damage already. Three. Joe did two damage. Because okay. he Yay. has one Joe did two damage. Next. Uh, is his activation He's so he'll move towards the closest which were the same distance and he goes <laughs> this because you are the one last one to activate and then he attacks you Joe I'm a dodge this, this doesn't make sense do what you need to do I'm a Look, dodge there's there's no attack value uh, other like that looks like a defense because it looks like a shield no, that's thanks well I'm pretty I good at that actually where's his regular damage then it's just that that's he always does AOE yeah, but it doesn't say physical or magical. That's what I'm saying. It's physical. I, I, I know, yeah. but it doesn't say. The it's attack the physical includes icon. the push icon. It's just Any a character shield. hit by the attack is pushed. After that's just a push icon. It's yeah, I dodged it. Okay, there you go. Yeah, he, he, just push him, he just pushes someone away. Dell just made a rules assumption. Here's the, here's <laughs> it was the I dodged it and I moved behind him, wasn't it? Okay. Can I attack him? Well, you were just dodging. I'm gonna dodge you like, fuck attack. you, trying to attack me and shit. I know, I know. It's Unless bullshit. you're the assassin, you can't. It doesn't the dodge. push icon. Any character hit so by the attack is pushed. We're, after we're, the a, we're up behind resolved. him now, Joe. Okay, so. Good. I think they. they think so they, they fucked up. up. This guy doesn't have an attack value. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, like, it's it's still supposed to have an attack value. Are you sure? Yeah, I think they just might have misprinted uh, this card, to be, possibly. It's supposed He doesn't have an attack icon. See, it's, it's supposed to be attack. right here, like the other yeah. cards, to tell you whether it's magical or physical. That? Yeah, he yeah. doesn't have he doesn't one of those. Have that. He just has a he five. He's just got the five on the push. Oh, it's on the push. See, this has a push, but it doesn't have a number. So I think his damage... It's five. Yeah. But look on this guy who also has a push, push, but he has an attack value. Things will Wait, don't. it's different. Some movement behaviors include can. an attack of their own. Movement attacks cause physical damage to characters can oppose with a block. Uh, the attack targets all characters on each node the enemy moves into. Oh, so every time he moves into it, he does five damage with a push? He, no, he doesn't push. That's a separate thing. Oh, yeah, that's a separate yeah, thing. Yeah, this is, wow. Uh, it does not target characters on the node on which the enemy started. Okay. If an enemy moves two or more nodes, this can even result in the same character being attacked multiple times as the enemy tramples and smashes its way through its hapless victim. Can you, can you give us an illustrated example with the miniatures? All he does so, is run around. Instead of uh, having to move towards someone and then wait till the next turn to attack, he attacks as he moves. So when he moves in here, right. he does But he attack. won't attack on the same square. He, he's moving all the time. He's attacking OJ, though. Right. He, he's not attacking if, if, say, if say, I was here mm -hmm. uh, and he does this, he attacks this, not this. Yeah. But, uh, let's see... Uh, that's convoluted. The, the attack. Convoluted. Oh, so if he starts here and he moves somewhere else, he attacks both the person here and the person here. Okay. So he attacks wherever he moves. Okay. That's what it's supposed to say. So he's attacking OJ for five. I dodged it. 
Did you dodge it? Yeah, yeah. He, he did oh, dodge yeah. it. So basically, it's um, the next person's turn, but we know how it works in you know for the for the thing. Okay. 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 Note that it does not target characters on the node on which the enemy started. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the confusing part. Anyway, give me that, yeah. and I will look through it <laughs> while whoever takes their Girl, time. Give me that. By that logic, I don't know who's the next person, but goddamn it, it's beard. Me. Okay. It is beard. All right. Move you in. So he Mo can't attack you. Right now. Right. He has to go to OJ or Joe. Right. So. I'm going to, well, I mean, I just entered the room, so I'm going to immediately attack him. Okay, use a power attack. Fuck it. I don't have a power attack. With your weapon? No, use I, I have, I have either regular attack or regular attack with AoE. Oh, just do it then. So Fuck. give me two black. Yeah, there's a lot of rules for this. <laughs> also, he has the target token. Oh, I see his card. All right, three. three. Where's the card beard? Right, one? right there, yeah. So, so he, two more did, hits. he took two more hits, he's down to one health. Down to one health. Yeah. And now his turn. And he's going to go to one of you two, so well, decide who, who. Who is the... Um, he's going to go to the one that's closest. He can't attack, though. He has to move to attack. Well, it says here, movement causes physical... Let's see. If an enemy moves two or more nodes, this can result in the character trampling. Uh, this enemy moves... Uh, can I see his card real quick? Oh, there it is. If the push icon includes a number of characters pushed to the wheel for that much damage. But Beard specifically said that the place he starts on, the character cannot get hit. Yeah. So he would have to move to somebody. Well, yeah. then, then he, then this is useless for him because if he can only move one space, then it really it should be the other icon. Now, if this was two spaces or three spaces, it would make sense. Yeah, he just. But anyway, he's got he's got the circle. That's what I was looking for. The circle means he attacks the nearest character. So he's really not doing anything. He's staying here and attacking the nearest character because this is the nearest he, character. He can't attack. Yes, though. he can. He can is attack. It? But no, the icon specifically says he only does it when he moves. If the push icon includes a number, characters pushed out of the way suffer that amount of damage during the push. And the push, if the attack includes a push icon, any character hit by the attack is pushed after the roll is resolved. Well, no, it's, it's the last movement, one. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, some movement, this attack targets all characters on each node the enemy moves into. Note that it does not target characters on the node in which the enemy started. Okay, so in this case, it is a little convoluted, like yeah. you say. You actually have to ignore the fact that this guy is here, yep. because the next closest character is going to be either me or Joe. Right. Paper, and scissors. Since it's tied, yeah. I don't know how that is. Rock, Let's paper, see. scissors. <laughs> Flip for it. If the model with the aggro token is not tied, then it moves. Uh, the enemy moves farther from the character with the higher taunt level. Oh, it goes after Joe, then. I have a 10 taunt level. Joe, Joe has, has a 4. A, Four, so it goes after me. God damn it. And attacks you for five. And attacks me for five. I will roll. Dodge it, shit! Oh. I'm not going to dodge. It's too much. I blocked four of it, so I took one damage. Yeah, I thought that was an odd-looking symbol on there. And if I'm hit, I'm also pushed. Yep. Is from what my understanding. Yeah. Yeah, because if he pushes you, he can attack you again. Right. You so see? I'm pushed out. And push my character. So you took one damage. Okay. Yeah. I'm so charging. That's how in. it works. It's your turn, Del. I'm charging in and going straight on top of him. You're straight on top. So of one him. stamina. Kill him. I'm gonna use one stamina. I'm going to cast magic weapon because it's my item. I'm gonna use it, so I use two more stamina. And then I'm going to attack him for big damage. Big damage, big damage. My attacks gain plus one damage and are magical. What's his magic resist? Magic resist. 17. I don't know. <laughs> Where's the hollow yeah. soldier? Um, Where's the guard? Right there. What's his magic resist? Mm, zero. zero. So I'm just going to roll three dice. He dies no matter what, by the way. Okay. If I hit him at all. Ah, he dies. No, if I hit him at all. He dies. He's dead. Yes. <laughs> okay. We just completed this encounter because it was another easy encounter. So then we open up the chest and it's two Bada. cards. And two cards are a Thrall Axe 16 16 0 0 
Does anybody have 16 and 16? Nope. I have 16 strength. It needs both. Uh -huh. I know. Which one? This one will give you two Dex black dice strength. for uh, zero stamina and one black, one blue for three. Um, that I'll take that. The thrall you can't use it. I can't use it yet, but when we yeah, go but back. you can put it in your, your I'm, inventory. We yeah, ain't going back, next. son. And then we have a winged spear. So can I. I just this one will give you. Put it in the pile, it's though. 20. You're getting armor. Uh, Don't, we're not going to make it back. Stop arguing. Uh, so then it's 20 uh, strength and 22 16, faith. 16. Mm. Uh, Joe. I have 20. I have 31 faith. 31 faith. And do you have 20 strength? No. Uh, Fuck. Is this weapon better than your current spear? It's uh, zero stamina. It's one black dice plus one. What's your uh, one black dice plus one? Yep. Uh, this one, three stamina, two black dice plus one. Ooh, that's better. That's better? Yes. Okay, keep this in your inventory Hell and, yeah. and uh, use it when you can. Uh, you're going to need a little bit more strength. 2022. Okay, nice. so we only have one more encounter before the boss, so let's get to it. All right, so this is the... Oh, so, so far, we've done nothing but level one encounters. They've been very easy. Uh. So this is the first level two encounter, and we flip it, and it is two... Oh, shit, I can't. Let me see what they are. You, you read that. Okay, so we need a big crossbow guy. If oh, God. Do. Where does it go? Single sword. Where does it go? Single, single sword. sword. The guy right here? Single no, no, sword. Single sword, oh, on single sword. Single sword on the Both uh, of those are single swords. Double yeah. or? Single. Single sword on the double? No, they're both on the same. Single sword. Oh. Okay, single sword. And then a... These miniatures are fucking cool, man. They're so fucking so cool. So the axe guy we just fought goes on the other one. God damn it. <laughs> oh, God. Also, there's a barrel on the crossway slashes. Barrel on the crossway. I'll take them all, guys. Don't worry. Good other luck. One. There you go, yep. And OJ's going in first. No, actually, he's going. Because you it? killed... Oh, I went yeah, last. You, yeah, yeah, you went last. It's you killed the guy. first. But I did go in first last time. It's whoever you went last, again. the next person goes in first. No, nah, man. What? <laughs> nah, man, nah. <laughs> no, man, no. That's actually nah, how it works, nah, though. Fuck that. <laughs> nah. nah. It's a whole bunch you, of gibberish. You go. You go. <laughs> go nah. ahead, Joe. Nah, nah. Nah, nah. 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 you want to hear. Who wants to go in? I'm the fucking healer. Why are you going to send the healer Joe, in first? Go on, go on, man. Fine, I'll go. Fuck Nobody it. Nobody wants to go. I'll go. Fuck Nobody, it. Go, go. Fuck it. Let's go. No, Joe. Don't do it. The first encounter ends in victory or defeat. Give the first activation token to the player who is next in turn order after the last player who activated for their character. That's you. The it's player with. God damn it. <laughs> Good nobody, luck. Nobody wants to go. You're our team, man. Not going in. Valiant effort here. Give a shit. All right, let me get these guys out here. Um, where's the other silver knight? Okay, and uh, the big dude. Big dude. I need the big dude card. He's right there. I need that guy's card. No, that's no. not it. No, that big dude. All right, Joe, pick which one you want to activate first. Well, it's the threat level. It's the highest number in the top left. The, the swordsman, right. the big guy, sword and shield. He's seven. Seven. Oh, crap. Seven. Is it seven over here? No, uh, this guy's six. The axe guy is six. Yeah, that's a seven in the upper left. So how far does he move? Two, forward. Fuck. One, two. Does he have range? No. All right, luckily it doesn't hit me. All right, what's the next highest number between these Hollow two? Hollow soldier. This one? Yep. And what's... One. He moves one? No attack. He's movement-based. All right. But, what? Well, okay, and then this one, what's the threat level? Uh... I was just curious. Three. Three. And he's unlimited range. And does four. Infinity range. And does four. Four damage. And he's not going to move the entire match. He's Because he goes backward? Yep. He's stuck in the corner the entire match. Okay, fuck. I got him. <sighs> All right. Uh, I got a blue die from my armor and a black die from my one shield. That's all I got. Unless I want to roll this. To potentially ignore all four. Do you I have... think I rolled this one. Yeah, I, I could do it. But if it's magical, I can't dodge Is magic. that the worker armor you got now that has a roll? Oh, you know what? You're right. Nobody has a roll, I yeah. I can't do that dodge unless I took that rags. The fuck that. <clears throat> I don't want to wear rags. Um, Here we go. Yeah! Four, buddy! All right. Shut the Zero fuck damage. up. Zero damage. Zero damage. But they activate again. 
No, it's my turn. <laughs> oh, then yeah. they activate I, yeah. again. I was just reminding God you damn that it. you're going to get ass spanked. Yeah, oh, they, they activate three more times for oh, you to get a chance. I, I fucking know, but I, I'm going to get a, at least a head in on somebody <laughs> yeah, before I die. Okay. Well, my stamina for free. I can do a free move. Let's see. How strong is this guy? Seven. Seven, seven health? Oh, he's one health. One health. Yeah, but he's a seven oh, threat. Let me see the the card. I got this. Excuse guy. you. No. <laughs> let me, let me. I'm I'm going. That's zero stamina to come in here. Yep. Zero stamina to hit him with my normal attack here, which is blue. Uh, and what how what do I got to roll? Oh crap. Hmm. Yeah. Well, you have to. He's got two arms. You have to roll a three or higher to damage him. Three or higher. Yep. I'm gonna have to use my stamina to use my gauntlet, and I can roll one blue and two black. He's got AOE. He's got AOE. He's got AOE. He hits for five, and I'm he gonna has kill push. him, dude. What is his health? One. One. Don't yeah, worry do about three. it. I got this. Three. Yep. Three damage. He dies. Got this, y'all. Ah! Yay! Dead. Five. five. Yeah. Because that would have been <laughs> super <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> Shit, 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 shit. He's dead. That would have been super dangerous. Now I'm about to get fucked. Okay. Because he also good. requires two to dodge, so we couldn't dodge from him. None I of us could. Did. Oh, you could. I'm the best. I could dodge. <laughs> no, he's got two. <laughs> got no, don't worry about it. I got it. All right. So now, big guy rolls, moves on top of you and swings for five. Oh, I need the camera since we over here now. We's over here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey, there you go. Alright, uh, so I killed that motherfucker. Wait, what are you doing? He's oh, moving on top of you now and it's hitting their me. their activation. Yep. He goes next, hits five. me for five. Um, block three of it. Took two. Took two damage. Get pushed. How is this 90 minutes? I don't understand. It's They're lying. 90 yeah. to 100. Uh, and then here you've got this fucker. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Four. Or sorry, four. Yep. Four, four physical. Uh, four physical. Luckily I rolled take well. One. Three. So take one damage. Well, since I'm not playing for a while, I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm last, so good luck, guys. Okay, next person Me. in the room is Joe. And I heal you for one. How? Characters within range... Give one stamina and one heat, one health. So uh, you're one welcome. Stamina and one health. Yes. Two things. Yes. Well, that's more than one. All right. Cool. So thank you, Joe. It's zero. Cause zero, right? Doing one right. character within range. That'd be. Well, range. I would think. Oh, it's got within three range. range. It's got three range. Okay. Thank you, Joe. You're welcome. That's cool. And now I'm gonna hit him with your spear. Yes. Do you think maybe you no, that was the action? Come and, and do oh, that. Oh, that was my action. Yeah, that was your action. Shit. Um, I no, I don't want that, Joe. You got. We I thought I could do, do that. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. Actually, wait. The magic, it does go in your offhand, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So, doesn't it say you can attack with whatever is in your hands? You can like one you from each do one? both. Okay, then yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, so I can do both. Okay. That's yeah. why I was like, heal, jab. Heal, jab. Yeah. Okay, go for it. So, my free move. Mm -hmm. Well, this. Is zero stamina. Oh. And then one. One. Two. Two. So I take two stamina. Uh oh. No, these yeah. are from my other one. Yeah, we okay. set that because uh, yeah. you don't have shit right now. I know. You're healthy, is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of scaring me for a minute. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> and I'm going to attack him. Well, how much health does this guy have? One. And this guy? Five. Uh, five. five. So okay. I'm going for yeah. him. Yeah. yeah, so I'd say take yeah, out the take out the, the archer. Come on, Joe, you can do it. What do you need? I need what, what dice one need? black. One black. One black. Uh oh. What do you need to roll for that? Uh, well, he gets a guaranteed hit. So yeah. if he hits one time, he'll kill him. Because it just needs two. Yeah. Okay. Redo. And we're screwed. I'm gonna use. Um, <laughs> you can't use use I'm gonna use my luck token. Luck token luck will token. allow you to re-roll. Yeah, <laughs> we needed it for the boss. 
Yeah, well. Can we reset? We, no. We, we, we we're resetting when we go back again. To, Me, Dell, and thing. Beard still have luck tokens. We're all right. Yeah. I don't yeah. need luck, son. Look right. what I did. So Actually, now, it's, <laughs> now, now it's my turn. I wish I was keeping track of my kills, but only one person can, Joe. We don't have that many miniatures. Come into the <laughs> one person could just keep all the miniatures. Hey, I heal I'm people. I'm a stamina. healer. Right? He is in, he's healing. I'm going to spend one stamina to move on top of him. Okay. I'm going to hit him. Hit him. Hit him hard. Hit him, I hit him, I hit him, oh. I hit him low. Oh, hit him for four. <laughs> four. I, I say the game started here. <laughs> this is where it's being yeah. most fun right here. Uh, this was just a slow start. All right, so you got four. He, That's just he's, a uh, He takes three damage. Three, yeah, three, three damage. Why? Because he resisted. Because he has one, one, one armor. All right, he's got two health left. He goes after, uh, what is it? Um, He'd come after you. He'd go after you. Because you have the highest aggro. Or highest, the highest aggro, yeah. Yeah. Because I'm on top of him. He can't hit me. He goes yeah, after we, we already figured that out. Between me and other Joe, goes after me again. That's bullshit, guys. <laughs> oh, who are you? Fuck you guys. Five. You know what's the greatest thing, though? Four. Oh, Blocked nice. It. Blocked almost all of it. Joe, I hate to Took do this damage. to you. Yeah. You're going to be first into the boss room. Why? Because I'm going to kill him right now, and then you'll be next in line again. <laughs> 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 Into the boss room! Yeah. Our tank! Yeah! Our glorious leader. I Wait, don't care. How about I, I don't kill tank. him? I don't kill him I and we make tank. OJ go in first. Nah, I am <laughs> I'll do but it. See, that's kind of weird. That we have to jigger it around like that. Uh, that's a mechanic I want to remember and mention later. But anyway, okay, so see if you can kill him. Because if you fail that... I'm moving on top of him. So, yeah, so free, free move. And then one, one. stamina. Okay, I'm using magic weapon, which means that I use two stamina. My next attack, which I'm attacking, and he's gonna is kill three him. black plus one, so it's just going to do magic damage no matter what. I need three black. I need one more black. There's two right there. Okay, got him. So if I hit him, yeah. three black two. plus one. How do you get the extra black? Um, I get three black. I'm using stamina. Oh, okay. And so I'm removing my minus one, but I'm converting my attack completely to magic. All right. He's dead. Yeah, yeah, he died. Now we'll go to the boss. So, um, Psh, everything that, off. We get uh, eight souls, and um, didn't we beat that one? So we get eight souls for that. But we're not going back to the bond. We're not going back. I know. Just relax. And now we go through the fog gate. Move your kills, Joe. Mm -hmm. Can I just use my soul? Can I spend my souls from a distance? Sister soul. No, oh boy. Yes. God damn it. Boss fight time. Well, there's no point in the fucking spear. I can't get it. Where's the gargoyle? <laughs> Fuck the spear. Okay, so the gargoyle has 26 health. Cue the music. Yeah, for illustrative purposes. Boop, 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 beep, beep, beep. <laughs> yeah. We'll put it here. Yeah. <laughs> Cue the boss music. And I'll move the <laughs> You gotta put the fog. Oh, the fog. Joe's first into the fog gate. <laughs> Ring the bell. And you know what the gargoyle does when he comes on in? It goes meow. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> meow. Meow, motherfucker. It might as well. That's still pretty scary. <laughs> Twenty-six <laughs> health. Meow. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. Where's the gargoyle card? Uh, right here. All right, so our gargoyle friend. Oh, your friend Angerbear just started watching. <laughs> <laughs> but if we kill him, he drops all this sweet loot. That we that's, um, a of, that's a lot of nice loot. He drops. That nobody could get. The gargoyle tail axe, the gargoyle's halberd, and the gargoyle's shield. Nice. So boss fights this have one. completely unique mechanics. I know. To, yeah. I'm about to do it. All right. So we're coming over here. We, you. <laughs> oh, dude. I'm gonna hang out at the bonfire. What about you, OJ? <laughs> Fuck yeah, I'm going back. I want to get my fucking strength to twenty. So I do I have, have an ember. I think Follow me if you want to live. <sighs> All right, so I gotta get the gargoyle deck. Is what controls this motherfucker. Activate it. And here we go. Yeah, where where is? Oh, Joe, he's gonna pop his ember, so we all take one less damage from everything. Okay, this that sounds fight. good. So, popping the ember. Yep. Scissor. Um, and where's the goddamn rule book? Here it is. 
I remember Amburger's one last damage. So. Amburger! Wait. You don't, did Humble you just assume yeah. what the ember does? No, it was the no. one less damage. You said it earlier. Somebody gain, immediately gain an ember token and discard this card. That's not, yeah. That's not what. Uh, that's not what that does. Oh yeah, yeah. You gained an ember token. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyways, so how do the bosses work? Uh, here we go. Boss basics. Boss encounters are the culmination of a party's exploration and advancement. Test. Is this working? Testing. Testing. Yes. Yeah. Test. yeah, you can hear me. All right. Uh, somebody's up. Larry Layla. Thank you, Larry Layla. 31 months. Psycho Girl, 20 months. Lord Generic, subscribe. Holy shit, we have a lot of subscriptions and I missed y'all. Uh, in Kai 9, 23 months. A Dark Souls board game. How does it incorporate the occasional... So I don't even know what that says. I'm not a Dark Souls player. Um... True test of a player's skills and readiness. Players often need to battle these bosses more than once, as bosses have a great deal more health than other enemies, as well as devastating attacks that can send the party back to the bonfire. Uh, there are two types of bosses, mini-bosses and main bosses. This is a mini-boss. They follow many of the same rules as other enemies, but there are also some key differences. Okay. Boss data card. Got it. Uh-huh. Okay. Threat level behavior deck size is... Uh, well, good news is we haven't died till now. To well, I know. I said till now. I still need the Ember two, token. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why are there eight? I don't know what that is. Four. Okay. I think everyone gets an Ember token. They have your deck size. And I don't know. I think oh. it might just be me. With the Ember? Yeah. I think everyone yeah, gets a token. Uh, you know, I read the Ember. Here's the Ember. And what does it do? Reduces all damage by one. Yeah, for him. Immediately oh. gain an ember token. Right, and okay. Discard, discard. Okay. Sweet. Behavior cards. Instead of behavior icons on their data cards, bosses display a wide range of different behaviors during a boss encounter. Each behavior card includes the following information. Boss arcs. So he's got four arcs. Front arc, side arc, side arc, rear arc. I'm going to get him from the rear. I'm going to flank him. Bosses always directly face an adjacent node. For a model to directly face a node, the center of the model's front arc line must line up with the center of that node. Each node on the tile is in at least one of the four arcs. See what that means? Mm-hmm. Uh, th that? For a model to directly face a node, the center of the model's front arc, the center of the model. Okay. Um, these arcs are a key part of what makes boss encounters unique. They add an extra layer of tactics to fighting against these bosses. Okay. When characters are on the same node as a boss, they are placed in one of his four arcs. When a character moves on to the same node as a boss, uh, must remain in the arc they were in before moving. If the character was in two arcs before moving, choose one of the arcs to move into. Place the character... Uh, touching the boss's base within that arc. Similarly, when a character moves off a boss's node or is pushed off, the character must remain in the same arc. During a push, if there are no available nodes, blah, blah, blah. When a character is on a boss's node, move one node or the walk or run. All right, I'm going to need to read some of this because this is the, a unique thing. <laughs> oh, Frostbloom. That's the best message in Dark Souls. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> You know, they actually put that in the game. What? Yeah, because yeah, you can leave messages out in the world for other players. And so they give you, you know, <laughs> words that are like pre-constructed phrases. That is read. awesome. And so <laughs> one of them is, try tongue, because there's like pale tongue and whatnot. And then there's, but there's a hole. So but hole. Try tongue, so like, hole. So like, there's guys that are like <laughs> draped over the side of a well with their butt in the air. And right next to it will be a message that says, try tongue, but hole. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, uh, that's the best message ever. <laughs> <laughs> or like, uh, so Guinevere, uh, or the giant lady, like a huge lady in one of the things, she's got like a huge open shirt that shows like her whole thing, 
and it's uh when right before it is a message that says massive chest ahead and you walk in and it's just <laughs> <laughs> see you on next expecting okay yeah. funny guys funny uh, guys wait i don't need that bikeman where's bikeman bikeman how are Someone you doing bikeman oh he's not here you are nothing shark fillet four months in a row i love you dudes much love thank you Thank you so much. You added shark. to that. I did. I made it more, <laughs> made it more personal. Shark. My favorite Amazing animal. chest. Ahead. Amazing chest. Yeah, that was too. <laughs> We're going to fucking die. We are. I can't, I can't figure out what the fuck is a heat up card versus a non heat up card. Heat up card? Heat up symbol four. Oh, I see it now. Can we just all attack at once? We better get that poster ready. That says, does. You died. <laughs> So I'm assuming the way this is going to go is we're going to try attacking it in basic gear, which they said that that's, like, retarded. We're going to go in and we're going to die. And it's going to be so obvious that we're so underleveled and undergeared that the only way to overcome that is going to be to grind. Nah, dude. Nah, dude. I'm just, doing it. Grind, Soul level one, no hit run. I'm doing it. Because I don't know if you looked at the card as much as I did. There's going to be, like, ten damage hits going out. I like don't care. Crazy. I don't care. Soul level one, no hit run. And he's got 26 health. I don't care. I'm, I'm going to kill him. Soul level one, no hit run. Let's do it. I would have, uh, if, if this was a solo player and I got the dragon tooth, I would have dump statted strength with a dex build and just had the dragon's tooth and be naked, just rolling <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> yeah. So over the course of the game, we had two, fa two uh, gravestones on the ones that yep. we had the face-up counter cards. Mm -hmm. So we get to know two of his attacks. We don't get to know the other of attacks. So look at those attacks. Can I... Attack speed. Give me one. No. This one? Give me one. Look at the other. So he's got Tail Whip. It's behind him. It knocks back, and it does four physical damage. Electric Breath is forward and to his right. Oh, sorry. It's behind him and to his right. Tail Whip. And it, uh, it takes two to dodge, and it has a range of one. All right, well, according to this, it looks like we're going to hit him from the left. Yeah, that's what it's looking at. Because like this is also a front and right. So we want to fight him on the left. We want to fight him on the left. All right, thank you. All right, go ahead and shuffle these cards. Those, those four two cards. With, the, with those. Yeah. Now, when, when we start hitting him and he gets to low health, he's going to heat up, and he's going to have three more... Uh, powerful pissed off attacks start to go into the deck one at a time. Phase two. Okay, so in the actual game, another gargoyle shows up. Mm -hmm. Hopefully nothing happens. There's not another gargoyle model. <laughs> <laughs> if there was another gargoyle model, I'd be like, I'm out. Yeah, Dan like, Dancer, Dancer Boreal Valley appears. <laughs> I'd be like, fuck this, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, faithful tank. The next part is sitting uh, at this point. The boss encounter is ready to begin. When the boss's health is reduced to its heat up point or below, the boss will heat up. Take one random heat up behavior card, shuffle it into the behavior deck. Note that players will now need to relearn the boss's attack pattern as well and having to face a powerful heat up card. Some bosses have special rules when the boss is ending a boss. When the, boss defeat, when the party defeats a main boss, they win the game. After the players defeat a mini boss, place that treasure cards in the inventory to reset the player. Okay, at the start of the boss's activation, flip over its behavior card and place it in the discard pile face up besides the, beside the behavior deck. Bosses follow the icons on the behavior cards from left to right as usual, but they have several icons explained below that are not found on other enemies. As with other equipment cards, some boss behavior cards. So flip over his first behavior card. Somebody do that. It's, you mean his attacks? Yeah, that's a behavior card. Okay, it's electric breath. Electric breath. It's electric gonna be boogaloo. Front. Okay, front. And then a red right. He attacks the closest person for four magic, and I'm weak to magic. Boss's attack arcs. It's only one range. One range? Yep, so he's not going to hit you this turn. So we got lucky. <laughs> oh, thank God. What do the icons at the bottom of the boss card mean? Okay, well, black, green, weak. Some uh, normal boss arcs, attack boss arcs, weak boss arcs. So if it's red, he's weak in that area. If it's black, it's just normal. If it's green, that's where he's attacking. Okay. Oh, so he's... What, what's... Is the red on the right? 
For your your yeah. uh, last card? No, it was on the. It, well, there was no red. There was no red. Okay, on mine the red was on the right. You gain one black die for attacking a boss in a weak arc. Cool. That's where we want to hit him. Okay, so on the right. Yep. So this was front. a boss movement card. He moves zero, so he doesn't move anything. You got lucky on that. Um, activation. Oh, but it doesn't tell me how I activate. I guess the boss would activate once after each of us, just like the other enemies do. It would probably wonder be the why exact it didn't, same. didn't do that. I wonder why I didn't say that. Boss attacks. A boss attacks would resolve similarly other enemies. Boss moves, uh, when a boss moves towards a character. When a character so when a boss moves onto a character. Um, this is making me want to play Dark Souls 3 when I get home. Boss, boss basics. Character activation, character movement. Attacks, combat this is a mini boss. This isn't even the real thing. We're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty-five. Okay. 26. Well, I get to go. Yes. I, I'm assuming I get to go because yep. the rules are all over the place. All right. So, where's the boss card? Oh, fuck. I want to look at it. If we have it, is that the boss card? Gargoyle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wanted to know what the colored icons at the bottom of his card were. Two. He, he's gonna block two incoming damage. Okay. He's got 26 health. What is the 3, the 1, and the 0? Oh, it gives souls. Okay, cool. So, what's 12 fire? Yeah, here's the rules, dude. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna hit this thing. So, what did you say? What side is weak on him? If it's the breath, it's gonna be on the right. I would just wait where you are. Because we don't know what's coming up next because his deck got shuffled. Because he's going to activate again and he's going to go at you right away. Yeah, like if you go up there right now and hit him on his right, uh, you can get the red dice. But yeah, you don't yeah. know what he's going to do next. Fuck it, I'm going in. <laughs> All right. One. Said the two. first dead man. No, on his right. On his right. Yeah. One. Oh, okay. That's, that's his, right. That's his right. You're left. Oh, whatever. Wait a minute. No, that's oh, his, yeah. that, no, you that go is to the left. Right. You go to the left. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay, that's his heat up point. When he gets to 12 health, he goes. Chiaj. 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 <laughs> Give me some room, motherfucker. Chiaj. Um, I get one extra black dice. You used two stamina. Okay. I used one. Uh, Wait, you haven't gotten hit yet. No. Well, he still got red on his board. Yep. Joe, you gotta move your Reach health. Edge. You rushed to him, so you used two stamina. Still. Alright. I'm gonna shoot him with the Silver Knight. <laughs> one shot him. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. I got two of them. They're both going for him. Are you using three more stamina? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm at least going to get one nice hit in here, you know what I mean? Oh, boy. So uh, I'm using five stamina, so I'm at half health already. Well, you also have to put the two that you ran with. I did. But, yeah, you're using two attacks, aren't you? No. So you add the stamina from your main hand and your offhand. Oh, yeah. So you're going to use seven. Oh, no. Well, get the poster ready. Where's OJ, that? you need to run in and fucking use your stamina talisman on him. Like, immediately. Okay? Like, that is not a question. You need his to restore sta his, sta his six stamina. If he survives this next attack... <laughs> At least I get to roll one nice full hand of fucking dice. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Yep. I'm going to try to do as much fucking damage as I can. I'm on his weak arc. Yeah. You rolled an it. extra dice though, right? Let's fucking do it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you did uh, three, two, here. four, six, eight, ten damage, motherfucker. Is he dead? He, he no. takes eight. He takes eight. Woo! Eight damage. Angry Joe what is he at? Give a shit. He goes down He's to 18. Uh, 18. He goes down 18 from 26. <laughs> yeah. But it's okay. Joe dies next turn. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm going to save you. <laughs> all right. He's activating. He's activating. Fuck. Does he turn now? Tail whip. Oh, I think I might have gotten lucky. 
Tail whip. He Clockwise. does the... I didn't get lucky. You got hit green. <laughs> it was the wrong choice. He, if I would have went that direction, then I would have got lucky. But he is going to hit me. Luckily, the tail whip, not too powerful. It is four damage on me. Now, I'm going to look to see. And he goes backward? He One. can't. He can't. He's oh, already at the back. Okay. So he's, he's, the he's just going to tail whip your so ass. He's going to tail whip me. And the two spaces is that space and that space. It just so happened to be... <laughs> The fucking... Did he push you towards me? <laughs> God damn it. Now, you have to go back. When is the boss move? It also knocks you back. Yeah, it'll, it'll do a knockback, yeah. So I can get a defense, uh, blue and uh, black. And I basically, I have three health left. It does four health. So all I really need to do is block uh, one or then two I'll help here you. and use my flask if I can. I'll check the procedure on that. With I'm, I'm kind of hoping you die. Just for the fun of it. Woo! I blocked three. You take one. You take one fucking damage. And there is, I don't know if you... Your savior is coming! <laughs> I have two health left. You have to stay alive now until your next activation to flask. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> can't see that. Anyway, anyways. Um, so I just realized you have to survive through three turns of AoE attacks. Mm hmm Cause you can't flask until your next turn. Mm. You no, got pushed back, right? I can't flask out of my turn. You got pushed yeah, back. Yeah, you would read you should read yeah. that just to okay. make sure. I think you have to flask on your turn. So you should have flasked right after you used your stamina. No. No, because you... you uh... During a character's activation, they can flask. Oh, shit. He screwed up. Yeah. <laughs> you have to dodge three attacks now. Well, we didn't know that. So we would yeah. use that now. I would flask to remove uh, any black tokens that I had at the beginning before I did my, my big attack. So that would give me a yeah. little bit back. So you would have uh, two extra health? I have four spaces. OJ, don't let us die. Yeah. All right. Your turn, OJ. I'm going to die. I'm no, you're not. His front is weak right now. Don't let us die, OJ. It's His all front arc is weak. You'll get one extra Well, you got pushed guy. back, right? Yeah. yeah. What did you get pushed back to? Right oh, fuck. <laughs> also, his attack pattern is always the same. Isn't it? After we learn it. <sighs> it goes into, yeah, the pile here. So I'm just keeping it in order so we know. No, yeah, I mean, well, yeah, I know. Because the whole thing is like he does the same four in a row over and over again after we learn him. Yeah. And then we five just have for some reason because I think these cards are misprinted. So he has we have to learn where to go based on our next turn, based on his attack order. Me. Once we learn it, so we have to survive four attacks not knowing what the fuck he's gonna do. Not going to. Well, these were the two we knew about. Yep. They just so happened to be there. All right. So Joe, what are you gonna do? No, everybody go all in. Well, Victory I was going to try to help you. And then we're going to die, we'll respawn, and we'll finish him off. Okay, no well, fucking problem. I was going to try to his help you. Restarts. Does his health restart? That's like, the, that's like in the actual video game. Yeah, you have to grind. <laughs> Fuck. So this is the only attempt. Just go all in, dude. Okay. Rush to his square and kick his ass. One. All right. He can hit from one I can away. Hit from I one forgot. Away. He's gonna spear him. Go. I kind of want you to survive as well. So, well, you do that thing anyway, I, right? Well, it's gonna cost me three. Three stamina just to re get rid of two blocks on six my deck. Six stamina. It'll cost you six stamina. No, it's gonna cost me three to give you six stamina. Oh, oh fuck! If, do if that, on, Joe. Wait, do that, that. I think that's if he's on top of you. Well, I need to get in range. That's why I'm trying to figure out the best Yeah, no, plan. do that, and yeah. I'll hit him for another fucking That's what I was ten. trying to do, so I have to take a stamina because I moved one here. Another stamina for that one. and then You're still in his front I'm still arc. in the front, so now I'm going to attack him. Okay. With everything I got, which is shit. Mm -hmm. Are you using your stamina regeneration mm -hmm. thing, too? What stamina regeneration? Your, your stamina token. The... The skill that regenerates six for Joe. The talisman. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. What does it regenerate on me? My stamina or my stamina. health? Stamina. Okay. And stamina. how much stamina does it take you to use it? Three. Okay. You already, you did. I already did. 
And the range is one? Yep. Oh, cool. All right, now hit him as hard as you can. <sighs> or don't hit him at all and let me do the hitting and you just you just heal me up. It's up to you. Yeah, what what I, would you hit I can't, him with? I can't hit him right now anyways because I would have to can't. use three. Mm-hmm. OJ, get. just move there then so he can't fucking hit you next time. Well, uh, yeah, if you're still in range to do the stamina thing to me, yep. you're still in range. Okay. Could you do that? I'm asking yep, you. I can. Okay. I'm still in range. So what Joe did is he went here, jit, jit, zzz, healed up my stamina to allow me to do another big attack when I can. But now it is the no, boss. Boot! <laughs> now it's the boss's turn. Howl bared thrust. Uh, it is normal arcs all around. He's weak on his uh, right arc right now. What are you doing? He's got a movement on there. Hang on. He, it's, the, it's the person who has the uh, aggro token he's going after. He moves forward one uh, towards that person, which is Joe. And he's Fuck. going to do six damage to you, Joe. Does he have one range? Joe only has five health. Um, What's the range? The range is one. So he hits you as well? Uh no because okay. that would be this this and this not not that arc. So Joe, you've got six damage incoming. He's weak on this arc now. I will on the dodge. Left. You're gonna dodge. But but if you dodge, you, that's an all or nothing, Joe, and you would die if you don't dodge. <laughs> also, I'm gonna though. die anyway. And what was your armor? One. Your armor is one black. Yep. So he has to roll a two to live. You, yeah, I. Oh, I guess I'm the dodge, dodge is the best option. Yes, it is. Well, this is basically the boss fight will end right here if on Joe's hit. turn yeah. if Joe misses this dodge. No pressure, right? No, no pressure, no, guys. No pressure, Joe. Wait, don't roll it yet because I'm scared and I want to see if there's anything that I can do. Can I throw you my flask? <laughs> can you do? Wait, actually, why don't you use your flask? It's Remember on your activation. No, it, it is. It is on his character's activation, and it's he can turn. use. It's still his turn. Except that when he activated, I he, the yeah, when he entered, he entered the room. That's his activation. If he had stopped. No, dur during a character's activation, they may use the flask to, uh, you know. So that tells me at any time. <laughs> You can remove all Remember black and red Ds. cubes. Once you use the flask, is flipped, and then it, and you have to wait to refill. So do that. Oh, that works. That works. So Joe, now I drink it. You don't have any damage on you at all. You're fully healed. I will so dodge it. Do you don't? You're still gonna try to dodge it. Because yeah, it's only one. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's uh, all or nothing. Come all on. or nothing. I dodge it. He did it. To the rear. Oh, dodge. Now, which Can one I, are you? Where are you going? This um, way. This I way. I dodge the or fuck this back. Way. I think. Or this way. It's back. up to you, Joe. Back. You're dodging the fuck back. Yes. Okay. He is weak on his left right now. Okay. He's weak on his left. Joe, yep. but we don't know what, what when he's weak. Well, next. I can't do shit. I can't You're really. You're gonna dodge back. Yeah, for now. Okay. All right, so that means it's my turn now. Can I see the book? I want to see what the icon for and the skull I'm gonna means. Come, I'm gonna come running in here. It's my first activation. The I'm skull. The skull is um, the player is currently uh, aggroed, which right now it's beard. Uh, yep. Spending two stamina to get on top of him. go uh, let's see all right so I'm gonna use my regular attack on him because that's all I've really got oh wait for the weak point I get a third black one right you get one extra dice all right cool all right hitting his weak point See, we got two. <laughs> Shit. He blocked it. Well, he just pissed yeah. him off. No damage. No damage. All right. All right. And his next attack is going out. Tail sweep. It hits front and left. So. Oh, ass. <laughs> so, Beard's getting hit. Front and left, yep. so Beard is getting hit. And it's worth mentioning that he faces Beard. So, move Beard. Is it, is it w worth mentioning that he faces him? Yeah, Why? he faces Beard. Because it's all directional. Okay. And he always no, turns his face. Beard is in his space. Yeah, so he still looks at Beard. 
Okay. What does that icon mean? Death. Destruction. That's a new icon. I gotta see the rule yeah. book. Which icon? That little star thing under it. Damage all nodes in the specified arcs. Yep. Oh. All nodes. Which means all all nodes in the arc. Oh, so dang. He hits go, OJ then. It's gonna go outward. What? Yep. So where oh, is no. it? It's, OJ's way back here. He's fine. So, so it hits it's, him. he's facing this way, it's gonna hit this arc. It's going to hit Beard, this arc, this arc, this arc. And you said it also goes that way? Yeah. Left? Front and left, yeah. yeah. It's so left and right. All, I was thinking right, yeah. It's all of this shit over Still here. trying to luckily, kill me, <laughs> Luckily, it's just Beard. I'm not in I would think yet. it'd just be the adjacent uh, nodes, didn't it? What's his range? One. Then, yeah, it would be the nodes. It would just be the adjacent nodes. Yeah. Maybe, but I'll look at it. Never gonna give anyway, you Anyway, we know you're up. hit, so, Never so do, give your, you do your, do your thing. Oh, it's four, so that's not too bad. Some bosses attack an arrow. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to block it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna man mode. Yeah, on it's him. all areas within the node within range. Right, so what's right. the range one. on it? One. one. So yeah, it would just be the adjacent. Thing. I was all like, right. that's a hell of a tail. That's a hell of a yeah. Tail. He's like <laughs> aliens it just all the way around the room. All right, going man mode. Let's block it. Where, where's the card? You took oh, three. Oh, no, I took two wow. because I have my ember. So the beard two took damage. two damage. Yep. Where's the card? The, For what? The, the gargoyle? Fourth attack. Is he attacking? Tell sweet. Yeah, he had it. Is electric break, tail whip. What is that? Uh. Emerald. Halberd thrust. And then tail sweep. So it's reverting now. So he's going to be doing electric breath again. Will never and be with defeated. the tail swipe, doesn't he push me back? Um, tail swipe. Yes, one push back. All right. Okay. So he's weak on the back, so and his butt. next attack isn't doing back damage. Yeah, so you I'm safe. gonna go to his back. All right. So now he did the attack. It's Dell's turn. Yep. Dell, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna move into the room. Moves into the room for zero. Okay. I'm going to move two spaces, so two more stamina, and I'm gonna go to his back space. One, two. So I'm behind him. Three. Well, no, oh, no, I'm, you're I'm in on his, his arc. Yeah, so I'm on his back arc. If you have a range of one. No, I'm, I'm going to be on his square behind him. Oh, you're... Mike, no, I'll you see you on the next stream. The and you're, so you have to walk... You have to give me another stamina to do that. Okay, that's fine. So I'll take three stamina. I don't All care. Right. Okay, so three so stamina. ran around him, went to his back arc. I need more stamina tokens. Okay. So he's weak in his back right now. Mm -hmm. I'm going so to you'll get one extra black dice. buff my weapon. Mm -hmm. So that's two more stamina. Okay. So and then I'm going to do a three attack. So that's three more stamina. Oh boy! I'm going to ask this dude. So yeah, next time. No, this activation. I don't. Well, first off, pop your flask. Because uh, how many stamina did you use before you did the attack? This is all Two. total so far. All right, I'm no, popping but, it right but, now. I'm going to pop it no matter what. I'm okay. using my flask. Okay. God. So I'm flasking because this is everything total. Sure. So it all goes away. No, it's six of it goes away. Six of it does? I think it's either six or five. I thought it was everything. Oh, uh, you're right. It is everything. Yeah. So I'm fine for all that. And I'm hitting him for all magic damage <laughs> we're gonna, and five we're gonna black lose. dice. Five black and then silver hit. knights enter the arena and shoot the ball. Okay, <laughs> there we go. So all magic damage. What's his magic resist? Seventeen. So what was it? So why do you always say seventeen? I panic. One. Okay. <laughs> They're touching hips. All right, here we go. <laughs> Cross stream. Two, Bring the four. Dice on the screen. Two, four, five, six, seven. I'm hitting him the, for seven not on the screen. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're hitting him, him for five. Seven. Five. He only has of one armor. magic. So I'm hitting him for six, oh. actually. I'm hitting him for six damage. Yay! What's his health at now? Twelve and he's burning. Twelve and he's on fire. Yep. Uh, put the fire token on him. Uh, this is, well, we'll use that as a fire token just to remind us. <clears throat> he's got twelve health left. Yep. Okay, I just need to hit him once more with my big thing, and then y'all hit him big once more. I can't more. really do anything. You heal me. Well, yeah, I know that's about the only thing I'm going to do. So well, that's the only thing we can do. If we didn't have What's you, we couldn't do this. What's his burn Yay! Cards? 
What's his what? What are the burn cards? Like, what's, what's his... Because he had a card, health. yeah. He had a... That's bleed, not burn, that I just put on him. Well, no, like, he's got a second phase when he gets, yeah. gets a certain HP. He uses his burn card Oh, now. so now he uses his burn card? Well, in this case, he takes one of his cards... But we don't know, like, what's the HP he has to be at? That's it, 12. He's there. 12? Okay. 12. So okay. then so we take two. one of these cards, he heats up. It's not a burn. It, did you say I give him burn? What he gets a heat up. Yeah, he gets a heat up. But which card gets heat up? I don't know what I thought you meant. His next attack? No. Well, now we no longer know his pattern because he gets fucking <laughs> pissed. Huh. That sucks. So then we shuffle this up. Because well, then I, mean, I agree. I'm fine. I have full everything. I'm just going to survive. I have full everything. Yeah. Everybody should have full everything. No, so, I, I'm missing four, but that's So okay. we have the potential to die here, but we also have the potential to kill him. If I can hit him for another real big hit like that. I thought the burn also added a special effect to him. You know? Oh yeah, after heat up, characters in the gargoyle node must spend one stamina to attack. Plus one stamina. So when we're in him, in yep. his node. If we're in his node. Yep, one extra stamina. All right. What? Let me see. Yeah, flying high. If we're in his node after he heats up, it takes one extra stamina. And he randomizes his pattern again. God damn. Ready to die. We're okay. not going to die. <laughs> now, the boss attacks. Well, he's in his node right now. Behind him, behind yeah. Behind him. All right, so the uh, boss attack is not the heat up. It's just a tail sweep. So he's changed his pattern. Tail sweep, which means uh, uh, the front arc and the this side arc. So who is this? That's Beard. me. Beard is going to get hit. Well, no, he needs to turn around to see Dell because he, he has the aggro. Well, he's going to go to the closest character, and the closest character would be Dell because he's in the same node. What's up? So he goes that way. So now what you've done is you fucked me uh, because <laughs> now it's it's Dell and me because it's also one range away. Okay. So it's Dell and me. Thanks a lot, Beard. How much damage? Uh, hey, don't think. Oh, he's God. the one who went there. How much damage? Uh, four damage. <laughs> What's the dodge difficulty? Dodge difficulty is dose. So I need to roll two dodges or just two these dodges. two dodges? You need to successfully dodge twice to get he out can. of this tail He's thing. He's the only one. He's the only one that can, but can he? <laughs> <sighs> quick. But four damage is not a whole lot. I'll roll lot. twice. Fuck it. So I'm going to roll for mine. He and blocked I blocked all of his... Yeah, boy. Okay, give me my two dodge dice. I believe in the cards. You believe in the cards? <laughs> because if I dodge, I'm attacking his ass. All right, sounds good. Do it, Dell. I'm scared. Don't I'm be. Whip this. No, whip. God damn it! Uh, that's because you didn't roll on camera. It's true. Four dammy. Four dammy. If only it had been a one one, because he has like three. Now I think one. you need to probably go and heal Dell instead. Yeah. Okay. Del. All right, so now it's my turn again, yep. and I'm gonna do that same thing I did in order to hit him with the. But you're, of you can't refresh your Estus. I know. Yeah. I'm, okay. I, I'm. You're just basically, it's all or nothing. We have to finish him off now, or we're fucked. I wouldn't do that so, just because. Why not? If you take. You want to try to go slow and steady now? If, if you take three damage, you die and it's over. Okay. Let me see how much I can get out of it because I am closer to him. I would just use your normal weapon, the blue I dice. wish I knew what was coming up. Y'all yeah. knew what was coming up. But now, because we pissed him off, we have no fucking clue what he's going to do. But you know what? We have a general idea, right? So this was the tail sweep. So he still has the tail thingamajiggy. He still has the lightning breath. He still has these other ones that we should have remembered. His front, his, yeah, it's, every side's open right now. He can attack everything. But doesn't his moveset just change to the heat up cards, or? And plus there's a card in here we don't know. I don't know where the oh. heat up cards yeah, are. Yeah, we don't know where that heat up card is. So fuck it. I'm just gonna come into this <laughs> side. That's today's saying, guys. And Coming just fuck it is yeah. today's saying. Fuck it, let's do it. Fuck it, let's do it. Are you gonna heal it. me, OJ? I will try. Okay. I'm gonna hit him as hard as I can. One, uh, so that'll cost me four. Well, wait, can I use him. my luck token to re-roll my dodge? Can you lose your luck? But behind yeah. him is the weak point. You can. Behind him is the weak point. Yeah. I, I don't know if you can't. Can you do that? One, yeah. Three. Why not? One, two, three, four, four. Jeff. Nine. What? Can I use my luck token to re-roll my dodge? Yes. Yeah. I'll do it. Fuck it. No are, other are chance. You, well, hold on. Shouldn't you save that for something? Do it. No, because I, 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 I always it. do guaranteed damage. Okay. Well, just. Well, you're only rolling, re-rolling one. You don't need to re-roll two. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so on camera here. <laughs> All right, here we Come go. Come on, Dale. No. Nope. God, God damn it! Damn it. Oh, 
camera. No. <laughs> this way you go. Ugh. Just like if you went. Uh, oh, no, still fail. fail. And then you would have won. There we go. God damn it. Whatever. If I would have done it, it would have done like four damage. Oh well. All right. If this doesn't kill him, we're dead. Four. Shit. Three, so he took three, four, four, five, six. He takes four damage. Not quite as much. He's as at I eight think. health. He's at eight health. Don't now. finish him! He's attacking Joe now. One, two, three, oh, me. He turns to face. So I didn't use my flask, or did I? You did. I did, okay. Yep. Fuck. You well, I'm it. actually, then I'm going to use, well, maybe I should save that for, I he's about to hit me with guy. something, so I'll save my luck token. Try. Um, okay, he's going to hit me, well, let's hope he doesn't even hit me. He's turning to face you, or whatever the movement card is on his thing. Give yeah, me this he aggro would, token on me. He would turn to face you. If he does a back attack, then we're fine. I'll just get hit in the face. Tail whip. Yay, I got... Wait. Yeah, no, wait. Let's see. If he turns to face me... What's his movement? Wait. He jumps backwards. Who came up with turns to face thing? It's, if he's attacking forward, which he did, he faced me. Yeah. He moved to face... What direction is his movement? If it's backwards, he's jumping backwards, yeah, he's then attacking. he's going backwards. Then yeah. attacking. So he's just facing this direction. He's jumping backwards because he's not turning to face anyone. No, he would turn. He would turn to face the aggro. He would turn to face the aggro, and then he would attack, then, which means he would jump back one. Then he would jump back one onto my square. Or no, I was I was here. I was here. This is getting a little messy now. I don't think he would turn because he only if he's moving forward he would turn to go forward. If he's going backwards he wouldn't turn at all, he'd just jump backwards. But in your logic he would never turn the entire game. No, he would if he was moving forwards. No, he wouldn't. Cuz he he targets the aggro person, moves and then does his thing. Cuz in the game when he does his tail swipe, he just does his tail swipe. He doesn't turn. But this this isn't the same thing. So what he would do is like he was on this node, right? Yeah. So he would turn to face the aggro, which yeah. would be Joe. And then if it says he moves back one, he would move back one to right there and then do his attack. So he would be doing that. Yes. And I was here. Yeah. I don't know. It, may, it would make way more sense for him to just jump back into the crowd. Because there were people behind him. The only way he would tail swipe is if people were behind him. So I guess that's just bad luck. When a boss moves, it can move in a direction without changing its facing. Oh. It simply shifts forwards or backwards, left or right. It does not rotate when it does so, maintaining its arc orientation. What? Yep, so he was right here. He's jumping back one, so he's here, and he's doing his attack. Fuck! So OJ. But when does he turn? When he's he does, he does. He When he turns, he turns when he goes towards somebody. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh. When, when he's targeted on and he wants, I want that guy. Well, first he picks his target. Yep. In this case, it was, uh, the, he, he just jumped back. He just jumps back. And then from, tail swipes. From the target. Yep. Wait a minute. When the boss moves towards a character, hold on. He's not moving Start towards. Flip, flip over the next behavior card, placement. Follow icons on the behavior card. When the boss's behavior deck is empty, uh, boss's attacks are resolved. So some bosses attack a specific character or node. From what you read, it sounded like if he's not moving forward, he doesn't have to face a character, because you said that exact thing. He doesn't have to face somebody. He just goes in the direction. Unless it's forward, then he Two faces somebody. Two movement towards the character with the aggro token. In this case, it would be one movement away from the character with the aggro token. Right, so, so I was right. All right, yeah, well, you were right. So put yeah. him where he's... Uh, one space away from the character with the aggro token. So he does nothing to nobody. And then he does his tail swipe, so we got lucky. Yep. Reason why we stopped game is to make sure we're doing it right. So yeah, I, I'm sorry we had to take a little bit of time there, but we want to make sure we. My doing turn. It right. So we lucked out. Yep. Joe. Take away six of your stamina, and I'm done. Why weren't you healing me? <laughs> One, two, oh, you're healing. Because me. look, he's about to die. Four, five, six. Thank you, Joe. Smart. Right. And I'm done. You're not, you're not. Hey, MVP. <laughs> the, the thankless, selfless All right. healer. So, 
I guess now. I, I waited an hour better. for that. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, that's the only bad part yeah, about Yeah, I want right. to do yeah. something. So he's weak on his butt right now, right? Or is it this one? It's his front. It's his front. Oh, God. He's okay. weak on directly where I'm at. All right, so that's my free movement. And then I'm going to go into his front arc. You right there. Free movement into his front arc. Okay. And I am going to hit him with my normal attack. Just too black. Okay. All right, come on. Oh wait, no, I get three because I'm hitting his weak. I hit him for four, which means he takes two damage. He's down to six health. Yep. I almost got him, damn it. Burn card's coming up next, but fuck. <laughs> and let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I still have six health, so I th think I'm gonna be okay. I think you'll be okay. Boss activation card, go! Boss activation card, he's got six health left. Uh. Swooping Cleave. This is the heat up card. So this is the card that Boss got when he pissed, got pissed off. What it does is one range. Uh, all of his arcs are now normal arcs. So there's no weak side on him. He goes the character that's closest to him. Uh -huh. Which is who? Well, I'm and right he, up on him. And he has the aggro. You. Yeah. Two towards that character. All. Oh, so that Fuck. would be. That. Oh, that would be. That would be Dell. Wait. Because no. Dell's like you're, I'm you're on in his him. Arc, yes, right? I'm on yeah. him. Okay. Well. Oh right, I had to spend an extra. Stand so there. then you and Dell. No, I'm behind him. Right, because it's gonna go forward. One. So two, two. towards. Yeah. So is it's gonna get all three of us? Yeah. Think. And. Six damage. Basically, the worst attack at the worst fucking time. Like a hit, I died. Because we were literally in the wrong place at the wrong time. All right, that's that's see. what it is. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to Dark Souls, actually. We were literally in the wrong One place. Range, the wrong time. yeah, it's AOE. Is it magic? No, it's. it's I, I want to make sure we're doing this right because this is the end of the game because we actually just got killed. I think. What? Is, oh, okay. I that's didn't. Sad. Right, <laughs> so. It would be a cleave, so yeah, every all three of us would yeah, get it's hit. Yeah, all three of us. Because he would basically, he's, he's, he's got doing his a fucking sword, sword yeah. so he's going, ah, He's ah, doing the same ah. thing the other guy did, the charge attack, basically. Yeah, he's doing a giant cleave. Bro! Well, we, we may not die right now. I'm just, okay, let me I'm put the beard. I ain't dying here, man! Okay, so we all have to block <laughs> six damage. What's the I, dodge difficulty? I ain't dying here! Two fucking, Two. I have to live. Well, I can't dodge, because I'm not a dodger. You have to block. I'm trying to block you. All right, so here's whether or not I die. Okay. This is the only thing. What does that mean? So I either reduce one damage or I die. Mm -hmm. I have to reduce one or I die. So if you roll a blade, <laughs> the game's over. I die. Let's do mine first, because like I got plenty Jack of health. Life. Or I roll these dice. And no. get two And I take no damage. No, I don't think so. I'll go first. I reduce his attack by four, so I take two damage. I All can right. I can handle that easily. Let me see mine. Come on. And I reduce mm. it by three, so I take three. Yeah. And uh, just to let people know, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six health left. How much do you have, Beard? One, two, three. I have two. Two I have health six. left. Six. I need two red. And you have how much health? Exactly six. Exactly six. I need two red. I have two six. Red. And I have one armor. So I get pushed. Here, I get when it's completed. Which one is you? This one? That one's that me. That one? So uh, you're gonna get pushed yeah. there. Now it's up to Dell where he ends up, or if Dell dies. Oh, oh shit. Here's the roll. Hey! Okay. <laughs> he reduces it by two. I, I can't take Okay, okay, heal him. I'm gonna flask alive. up. I'm gonna flask up this next turn. I need one more dice, one more red. One more red. I can't Where's believe he you survived that. So, Del, you have to pick where you're pushed to. Um, Get closer to me. Down. Get closer to me. Del, we're going to go here. Get closer to, to uh, Joe. Um, I can yeah. heal you. Go yeah. to Joe. Okay. 
So it's it my was turn. your turn. So uh, I'm running to the other corner of the room. Well, <laughs> you, you need. Oh. You know what my turn consists of? Well, Where know, am it's I at? Not your turn, right? It's my turn. I know. It's this guy's turn. I know. Okay. Well, once my my thing move. is, I'm gonna heal him. Free you're move. Free move here. One stamina. And you're gonna go one stamina. I can't move. even attack, dude. Why? I'm at two. Stamina. Oh right, you gotta heal up a little bit. I can't. I'm okay. I'm one health away. Well, did you death. take two Wait, stamina away? Because remember, at the why? end, the beginning of each of your I had stamina. no stamina used. Mm. Why? I literally have oh, one that's health right. left. Yo, oh, because it's all red. Yeah. Del, why did you leave that way? So I don't get AOE'd. He doesn't want to. He has literally all red. Okay. I'm one health. He has one health left. All right. Lightning bolt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How much health does he have? Six. 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 So if I could go. I might be able to kill him. You can't use your big attack because you'd black out. One, two, out. three, four, five, six. I would black out. I feel like. Okay, <laughs> on his next attack. <laughs> Wait, no. You get rid of uh, one stamina next activation. So I would do it, and I would. If black you don't out. get hit, he's attacking right now. Okay, so basically here it's up to this card whether we win or lose. Oh yeah, and, yeah. And then my roll. So here we go. Wah! It is. Wait, Hera, each activation. Hold beard thrust. Mm -hmm. Each activation we. So he's facing we you, one Joe. stamina. Can so to face no, no, no. Oh, he well, he actually faces uh, you, which you fucked up. No, I don't have the. Uh, yeah, you do. You, you have do. The you were the last you have, one. You, you have the, the aggro now. No, I don't have the aggro, man. He goes after every one of our turns, and you still had the aggro from your turn. So oh. he's on you. Okay. I just made the poor decision to decide to push here instead of pushing, instead of jumping behind him. I didn't know he'd come this way. I didn't know you'd go this way. <laughs> it's fine. What's the range on it? All right. Then he's going to come this way. Okay. And he's going to push me. And he's actually weak on this arc. Blood for the blood god. So if you could thank him. Who is this? This is, uh... I don't know. Uh... Not the... Not Bo Rob. Thank you very much not for Not Bob the, Rob? Not... Not Bob Rob. Not Bo... Bob Rob. Not Bob Rob. Not Bob Rob! Third. It's totally Bob Rob the third. Yeah. <laughs> Playing Gwent would be a great idea for next time. People would love that. Oh, and tell Anger Beard, I don't mess around with Bit Wars. <laughs> yeah, That's Bob... Good. Does he have a two attack range? Uh, Bob dropped two hundred and fifty dollars worth of bits on me yesterday. Jeez. <laughs> You're the only one getting hit. Okay, I'm the only one getting hit, which is good. Uh, I made the right decision. Uh, no, Joe's getting hit as well. Suck it, wait. No. I'm okay. <laughs> you have to heal me, Joe. <laughs> me and Joe are getting hit for six damage. Block that shit, OJ. You have a shield. So. I want, no, I don't. First. Can I switch? You can roll if you want. Can I switch? No. no. God damn it. Fuck. Roll the dodge, OJ. I block two of it, so I take How many four hits? damage. You only get one block. One one or you roll the dodge. Four. Just negate it, dude. You either take five or, or dodge, five. He can't dodge. He, he can't dodge. He has what? one dodge. One His dodge. talisman has a dodge. Yeah. No, my armor. Your armor has one dodge. Yeah, he's rolling a dodge. But he's using his heal. He doesn't have his talisman equipped. Okay, but he still only needs one dodge to dodge it. It's a one dodge. Card. Oh, okay. If you're able okay. to dodge, you you can dodge. Nope. No. Six damage. Joe. Failed. What was that roll? It didn't so even roll. You just were like. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <sighs> it was worth the risk. So I took four damage. Joe took six damage. I no longer have enough strength in me to take him out. It's up to me, boys. I think this is <laughs> just about the end of it. No oh, god. How, how much die. health does he have left? It's OJ's turn. He has he six, six health left. My OJ's turn. So turn. Take two. two you can't power attack him. I know I can't do. So do I get one free movement? There's no way I can kill you get him one, one free hit. Movement. Do it, Dale. Are you healing me? We well, were so I can't close. even do it. So close. If that last attack didn't happen and and I would have blocked more of it, then I think I could have done something. Because now it's my turn. No, it's Anger It's no, OJ's it's, turn. Why are y'all skipping me? OJ just went. Can I get an opportunity to attack? It's, oh, it's my well, turn. It is his it's turn. turn. Go ahead. <laughs> But I just took this huge fucking hit, and and I really pretty much can't do anything. I could go on his weak side at the very least, Joe. Uh, yeah, hit him on his weak side. And hit him I'm on over his here. Weak side. And if 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 it can get to my turn, I can possibly end him. 
If, if, if you can survive until I if. go. Did you restore your two stamina? Mm -hmm. There you go, yeah. It sucks you can't do a power attack because you'd die. Yeah, don't do a power attack. Just If you can hit him for two damage, I can finish him. What's his defense? Two. Ah, my last... Die! Move afterwards, though. Use your free movement. And I'm about to die, motherfucker! Damn it! We'll one, one damage. Okay. Three. He's OJ. Five. Wait, you I'm using my luck token. Okay. I'm using my luck token to reroll this be, die okay. to try to do a little more. So three plus one. Four. I think you can reroll multiple damage. die with the luck, can't you? I don't know. Let me look. If I can, I'll reroll them all. So four damage. Uh, luck tokens. One. Just one? Yeah. Uh, so he takes, he has four health. Okay, so he has four health. So I did one damage to him, rerolled that, did one additional, so he's six to four. Yep. OJ, your turn. I'm oh, wait, no, it's the boss's turn. That's right. Yep. All right, flip that last card. It's lightning breath. If I, I have one health. If I get hit, I'm dead. Sam, I'm dead. All if right. I get hit, I'm dead. You have one health? Yep, I'm dead. It's lightning breath. Electric breath. It goes... Oh, he faces you. I'm fine. Goes forward. Wait. First, who was the aggro last? You. Give me, you. Give me the token. It's underneath token. me. It's underneath you. It should be underneath me. So he's going to face you. So he's going to turn to face me and hit me with aggro electric breath for four damage. And can I block? I, I do have the capability of rolling a four. You still have your heroic token? No, I've exhausted everything to get to this level. Really? Yeah. It's not flipped, though. Yeah, it is flipped. Uh, okay. It's oh, just shit. the art on it. I have it. an extra health. Well, it should be flipped. Because I have the ember the whole time. It wasn't time. flipped. You never used it. it. You're right. That's the, the luck token. This, so this one roll. looks that's the it's same. Just on the, the, it's, it's the So the I actually button. have Oh, this. no, that's your heroic. Well, fuck, if I knew that, then I would have been able to hit him more. You still would have gotten hit no matter what, though. But you know what I'm saying? I could have hit him harder. Because yeah. I would have used that. Blocked. You couldn't have killed if, him. Though. If he can live. Yeah. If he can live. Alright. I will live. But I had six to use my hero. Six damage? My, also, my it's hero. magic damage, isn't it? Huh? Is it magic? It's magic. The electric breath is magic damage. Oh, if it's magic, then. Uh, well, yeah, that's fine. I'm just using my hero thing. If it's magic, then I don't get this blue. It's just a black. It's just a black. Light. And you're I shit. rolled two, block two, take two damage, and I am down. And we lose. No. All right. So I want. I want to see if I could kill him. We don't technically position. lose. We had two sparks at the beginning of the game. We go down to one spark. But, but we all go back to the bonfire. And we all go back to the bonfire. But that'll be the end of the, the, the game, though. He wouldn't have died. Yeah, he wouldn't have died, died on the next one. Okay, so we lost to the boss. Okay. And so we probably basically needed to grind yep. one more session before going to the mini boss. Yep. Um, this is fun though. I like this. We wanted to to go a little faster for for stream just to show off yeah. uh, what it's like. We almost one shot him though. So That's I gotta pretty say, good. I feel like it's like a five hour game. It's gotta be. Oh, it's longer than that. You can go all night with this. It's been four yeah, hours. Especially I mean, since can, the final... You can make it as long as you want because of the fact that you can grind. Well, the final boss also has 56 health. What? These are 56 in total. You're, you're fucking kidding me. No. And so... So... That's ridiculous. Where is he? Because then, here's what would happen. Uh, the final boss then spawns here. And then that motherfucker... And so we'd be fighting... It's 50. Yeah, it's 50. 50 health. Yeah, we're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> it's, right. it's the only way. Does the mini boss come back? <laughs> when, no, uh, yeah. mini boss should go away. Well, let me see. I just wanna see. He regens his health if you don't kill him, though. That's for sure. Fuck, dude. I mean, in terms of Dark Souls. We did pretty good there. We almost killed yeah. the boss on our first try. Right. That was probably about the best we could have fucking done. Because we <laughs> yeah. didn't even bother grinding. Yep. We just came in, 
Yeah. And Adam. I'm still soul level one, baby, with all the starting gear. So it's possible to do if you grind. Uh, ending a boss encounter. After players defeat the mini boss, place that boss's treasure cards in the inventory, then reset the play area to begin an additional exploration leading up to the main boss encounter. Set up after the mini boss, page nine. It uh, also feels like the game. the main boss, they win the game. Let me see, set up of the main boss. It also feels... Yeah, the mini boss is gone, yeah. and it's just replaced, I think, with the main boss, but I'm going to double check. Go ahead. So what I was reading, too, is that the game is not balanced for four people, for according to people that were saying. What? No, they were saying... Fine, man. We were doing great. No, they were saying that it's easier with four. If you're playing solo or two people, it's ridiculously hard. Oh, it's yeah. Really I can see it. Two players, one player, forget it. Three players. Two even, players yeah. is fucking ridiculous. Three players is hard. Yep. Four, four players is about where you want to be at. Yeah. And and you gotta grind like a motherfucker. But the whole premise of the game they were saying is that you're supposed to die. Oh yeah, I know that. Yeah. But you, you know. Um. Basically, what you'd do if you were playing, if like two people, you'd say, okay, here's the encounter room. You'd be like, kill this encounter back, kill back, kill back, kill back, kill back, kill back, and you'd just do that until you were like max level. With just one? Yeah, just do it over and over again. Oh, that's a, we exploit in the game? That no, kind of is an exploit. I mean, it's what you do in the game, I, I, the I, actual I, game. If you just if this monster drops the most souls, you yeah. kill that guy over and over again. Yeah. And just sit at the bonfire. Yeah. Uh, well, I want to see if you can do that. All right. But anyways, your opinions on the game, let's start with Dell. Too long. The, okay, where's the box? Can you, can you give me the box? It's right now? here. So, okay, combat, fun, although... Wonderful, players. Where's the time? 90 to 120 minutes. Not true. Yeah, bullshit. bullshit. <laughs> we played for four hours. So, my opinions and of the we, game, way too doing? long. Not, not true whatsoever. 90 to 120 minutes. Even if you're the designers and you're playing the game, you're not going to make it in 90 to 120 minutes. You're damn lying. So, but okay. that doesn't mean it's a bad no. game. You see that over there, Twilight Imperium? That's a fucking awesome game. And it lasts six, eight days. Eight hours. So Ten hours. Twelve hours. And it's still fun. So I gotta say, yeah. long game. And um, most people, because it's so long between the turns, you're just sitting and doing nothing. Mm -hmm. For like 75% of the game. Because it's every Even person. more if you're Joe's character. I was about to say, yeah. especially if you're the healer, because you already know what you're going to do, and you're just, just well, waiting. Just the boss. I'm going to heal. My turn's yeah. done. But with four people, bare mathematics, you're waiting for player boss, player boss, player boss, player boss. Or player character, player enemy, player enemy, player enemy. Mm -hmm. And then you get to go, and in then it's player enemy, player in, enemy. In Famous Daxter, that's uh, Joe's favorite game. If you're talking the old one. Ooh, you mother. Fuck. <laughs> you have a couple of putting that right, right there. Did you see that? You did see that. Wow, wow. No one saw nothing. Yeah, look, it's it's gonna come down right in that beard. Or no that one saw beard? nothing. Is that beard? Yeah. yeah. I want to see this. You should <laughs> probably read the rules before playing. Makes it faster. Even still, you have to. We he, we did read. We it. did read the rules before. Okay, when did they read yes. the rules beforehand or not? There's a lot of fucking rules and we can't memorize it all. It, it's uh, are you, the rules are actually written where there's some information here, then there's some information there, then there's some information there. The only way you're gonna get a smooth playtest of the game out uh, when you first buy this thing is if you're the designers or as if you've played five games. Uh, otherwise, any player who picks this up is gonna have this experience. You're gonna go through the rules, and in fact, I'm a little faster than most players. So, so again, Absolutely. combat was okay. Um, <laughs> I hate the inventory system. I think it's way too grindy. The fact that we were getting shit that would take us like another hour and a half of grinding to fucking even think about using. Mm -hmm. And we, we were gonna cheat, and even then we still wouldn't be able to do that for a while. Yeah. And uh, just the, the way the combat flows, it's clear this game is designed for one person. And I could see the 90 to 120 minutes for one person because you're always playing and you're always getting attacked. So, I could see you just dying in 90 minutes, for sure, running out of lives. But there's, like, put this into perspective, we didn't use all our embers, and that still took, like, four fucking hours, or three hours. Wait, what, what, when did we start? Eight. Eight. 8 p.m.? It's, mm -hmm. it's midnight. So eight, eight, 12 nine, hours, 10, 11. Four. It's not midnight. Four. It's 1230. It's, yeah, it so is. So how, how long did it four take? Four and a half hours. Uh, I've been streaming for three hours and 18 minutes. What the hell are you talking about, four we hours? We started at eight. 
And we had like a 45 minutes. My timer right here says live. Three hours, 18 minutes. Yeah, but we started learning at 8. You started learning the rules at 8 o'clock when we got here. Oh, yeah, but because we were off stream going through the rules. So I guess you got to include that. It's like four hours. Fine. And we haven't even died. And we're not even at the final boss. Right. We're halfway through the game. Actually, we might be more 40% through the game. Yeah, because we'd have to grind to fight these guys, because right now there's no fucking way. Well, we didn't grind to fight the first boss. Yeah. Almost beat him. Let's say we would have grind to hit the first boss. Uh, that would have been... Yeah, so I'm saying... Uh, another uh, Two weeks? Uh, this Honestly, dude... <laughs> it's like wow. an hour and a half. Th- this would have been another... If we were really like, no! We're finishing this fucking game. <laughs> Nobody's going home. I yeah. want to know kind of how long it would be. No! <laughs> Nobody's going I'm home. Going home. Oh, I know you're going home. <laughs> I'm just saying that if I was paying y'all motherfuckers, you'd be staying here and we'd be playing this just to see how long it would be. Yeah, it but would take forever. I, I, it would take I, here's s- the thing. Uh, before we get through everybody's opinion, I will say right now, I liked it. Uh, there's things I like about it and there's things I dislike about it. But I like it enough to where I do want to play it again, where we know, you know, we kind of understand, uh, you know, everything and go a little faster. Um, you it's know, just... first plays are always a little longer. However, I do think some house rules can tweak this to be much better. I'll get to those points when when I go, but I, it's still on Dell here. And, it's just uh, and with four know. people, it's way too fucking long. I was bored for like seventy five percent of the game because, like I said, everyone else is just waiting for your turn and you're not doing anything for the entire time. It's not like you're able to look at gear. It's not like you're able to do anything else. You're just waiting for your turn again. And if you think about the final boss, each of these bitches have four cards. They're both activating. They each have four cards and have their own attacks. And they both have their own health pools. You're going to be fighting fucking two attacks you, you per thing. You think this is too long? Here, here's some uh, campaign rules <laughs> to make it even longer. But you can save the game in between and yeah. keep going. Uh, and that might help, actually, because... I, I think your best experience with this game would be solo. 100%. No, I don't buy games to play games solo. I'm just solo. saying, your best experience... You're making, with, an, you're, you're making a guess. With the way the game's designed, mm-hmm. I would bet money your best experience is alone, okay. because you start with 16 souls, and you're sure. playing by yourself. Okay. And you're always playing. Yeah. Because when you have four people here, we're all just like... Yeah, you're all, you, you would be always playing, yeah, yeah. And you're just sitting there. Um, right? I, I'm very interested to see what the PvP expansion is, yeah. where the invaders come in. I, that's where I think the game's oh, yeah. strength is actually going to be at. Uh, all right, so uh, give me a, uh, you know, we can't necessarily review it on our first play, but what we could do is give it a rating, a first impressions rating uh, out of 10. Average. My a- average out of ten. My experience is like a <laughs> okay. Solid so five. beard. Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed it. I I think there definitely could be things that are tweaked, such as I don't like how most of the enemies only have one HP, and I also because I mean, you you hit them one time. You're looking for over. a game, and I already know what you're saying because I'm gonna hit this on mine. I'm looking for a game that has a little more handfuls of dice and a little bit more enemies doing their dice. And then we do this. Well, it's not just that. I, I also don't think the enemy should have a turn after every player. Okay. Like, That's I think they should get their HP buffed Holy and then allow all the players to go, and then they only have one turn as well. Yeah. Because a lot of the enemies in Dark Souls, mm-hmm. they're a little slower. They're a little slow. They're yeah. actually real slow. And, and they also have them. tons of HP. Mm-hmm. So, like, like, a Silver Knight going down in one shot, that doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. Also, yeah. the great bow would one shot you. Oh yeah, the great bow. <laughs> that those things are dicks. <laughs> those things are major you dicks. Take, like, and these are from Dark Souls players. So yeah, and it was funny because the silver knight with the great bow was easier to deal with than the little fucker with the crossbow. It's like yeah, the hollowed knight. This fucker <laughs> was, do was was more of a bitch than the guy with the yeah, the big Aaron. great fucking bows. Yeah, no, there, there definitely needs some balancing done. But uh, I mean, it's a great idea. And I do like the HP system and everything. Let's go through the individual mechanics. So. You like the, the player board. Yeah. The player yeah. board is fucking bad. I thought that was cool. I like your health and stamina let's, management. Let's see this a little better. Oh, there you go. <laughs> As it all falls off. Yeah. But I like that shit. That's I do cool. wish there was a way to give you a stat for HP so that the tank could have a little more health than everyone else. Yeah, you know? I would think that the, I would... Because uh, yeah. there's vitality in the, yeah. Yeah. Shit in yeah. the normal game. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um... 
and things you didn't like was the mo monsters going after everybody's turn. Because what that does is yeah. it actually bloats the game times four or times how yeah. many other players you do. So all that complaints that you guys are saying, oh, it's taking a little too long, taking a little too long, I'm doing nothing. That is all because of their system that yeah. they chose that they're going once or, after or if they Which wanna... I think in game design is probably about the worst system that yeah. you could choose for it. Or... In order to simulate the mechanic. Yeah. If you want overwhelming odds or reactive enemies, there's a few other systems they could have gone with. Well, yeah, or if they wanted to do like a hybrid thing, make the smaller, faster enemies be the ones that go after every player. Mm -hmm. But keep the big guys, you know, just one turn a turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and and so what would you rate it on your first impressions? On my first impressions, I'd probably give it a seven. Mm -hmm. It's it's fun. It definitely you know I wasn't I wasn't bored. I had a good time. And yeah, I, I had a good time too. Surprisingly. Yeah. Because normally I fucking hate grindy ass games. Yeah. And uh, I hate grindy ass video games. And this is grindy as fuck. Oh yeah. Like really grindy. But it's Dark Souls. But, but <laughs> yeah. well, see, I'm not a Dark Souls fan. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I don't know. There's this overwhelming uh, sense of dread and hopelessness and getting your fucking ass beat. But I like those kinds of games where it's like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna win. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna find a way to win. Yeah. So it's exciting in that sense. And it does feel very Dark Souls in the fact that you're gonna die. Uh, oh yeah. Before you get to the final boss, there's no doubt about it. That's the unfortunate thing. Like, there's no way to go on like a no hit. There, there's no way to win without dying. Yeah. Because you're, you're, you're gonna have. You're gonna die. But the enemies like you, you are roll perfect die. rolls every time. Yeah, you good. Man, uh, what about you, Joe? Well, watching Pro, you guys, it looks like y'all had fun. <laughs> <laughs> you guys had fun. Um, being a healer honestly kind of sucks. Yeah. I wish the loot would have been a little bit better to achieve. Okay, let's talk about this. Uh, this. Uh, I rather, here. yeah, just like. So what? What happens is, uh, you know, as we were drawing cards from this deck, um, th it wasn't an immediate gratification. No, it not at all. It was more like, a, oh, oh, that's cool. Oh, I can't have that. That's cool. Oh, I can't have that until about f three hours later. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that, that is a bad feeling. It is. There's so much cool shit in here. It's ridiculous how much... Look at all the time and effort they went into to create all this cool did shit. Did we do it but right, you don't, though? Yes, we did. We were supposed we to mix it? Yeah. Because yeah. I thought well, well, once we go over the here... the game design got a little out of control on how long they want their games to last. You know what I mean? And then I guess it bloated and bloated and bloated, and then they said, oh, slap 90 minutes on the box. So the way they no. should have done that is tier one drops yeah, tier so one we, weapons. Yeah, so we mentioned yeah, it earlier. That's what we're you take, take this big fucking fat deck, and you do this. You Bring say it down. tier one weapons, tier two weapons, and tier three weapons. So when you're drawing from the tier one, the first time you go to camp, right? Yeah you have to go to this deck. So there's no bad feeling when you pill these. You, now it's a discussion. Hey, oh, you want that? Yeah, I want that. You want it? Yeah. Oh, let me get that. Have, no, yeah, you know. this is useless also, for me the entire time. level one time. enemies, if, they're in the, if there's a chest in here, it yeah. should drop a level one item yeah. from a tier one group of enemies. Like these basic archers that had two dudes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Had like tier four weapons. It had tier four weapons. <laughs> yeah. And not that, to that, mention that the Titanite that was That's really weak game design right there. That 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 really made me mad. It forces you to here. grind. It forces you to grind. Yeah. And and it says if you don't like grinding, fuck you. You know. But that's that's Dark Souls. So I guess they were just saying fuck you. It's well, part no, of even the game. In Dark Souls, in Dark Souls you actually, you don't you yeah. don't get stuff that's too high level. Yeah, you do. Don't you get stuff that you can't equip until later on when you level up? No. Not very often. Like no, the things that really. you you can you get. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can't equip it right away, but like as something? soon as you go back yeah. once, you, you can level up enough. Like it's in your range. Always. Yep. Right, but but in in video game terms, how much longer would you play? Another hour or two, right? Not really. Well, that well, not works really. Another hour or two here. Not really. Well, not no. no. Okay. No, and, and also like if, if you find a weapon that isn't your class, you're mm -hmm. not going to use it. Yeah. yeah. You know. So like this. Which is weird. They got all the stats pretty much near the same, so you yeah. can use like everything when you get up here. So the, the thing to keep in mind too is the game getting the ability to use the weapons is very easy. It's upgrading them that mm -hmm. takes forever. Yeah. So, so like, Titanite shards. There's like a few weapons that have stupid stat requirements. Like the only ones that are at the very end of the game require like 60 strength. Mm -hmm. You will never have that issue through most of the game. Yeah. 
Unless you're getting stuff, for, like he said, outside your class. Okay. So. All right, and uh, this is all good game design stuff for, for my game. So I always love playing games because it always makes me think critically and yeah. chessboard and, and what we would do to improve and stuff. Uh, uh, but Joe, uh, I want you to finish off there. Um, so we know the con better, is this. Yeah. What, what was the positive? Positive. Um, the, what, uh, the miniatures? I like the way the miniatures good, looked. Yeah. I liked the uh, the boss battle. Like over here, it started getting fun. Yeah, once we hit yeah. this area, uh, started very slow. But I think that's intentional, where they they want you to go through that very slow, grindy phase here. Uh, it got fun here. I think we all realized, hey, this is cool, and then we're oh, this is gonna be great. But then we realized, God oh, damn, fuck, we gotta we go need, all the way we back. We needed to do a little bit more of <laughs> yeah, this we before we also, went over here. Also, it's worth mentioning every time you die at the boss, you have to kill those two rooms again. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're just in the game. You can just run past those people. Yeah. Uh, and, and you uh, can't really do that here. So. Okay. And so, what's your first impression, honestly, Joe? Be honestly, honest. it was average for me because mm -hmm. my character kind of sucks, and I was you just didn't watching. Really get to do much. I didn't do anything. Chat like, was all like, is, "Has Joe even talked at all?" I was like, <laughs> "Heal next yeah. hour." Yeah. Heal I this I guy. It. I hear it. So I didn't really have much fun with you, it. A you, lot of downtime for me. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't be able to go and do five players out of this. I think you you, you don't. I think four was too much. Four four is is where your limit is, and yeah. some would argue maybe a little too much. Because like I said, I, everybody was sitting around for like five mm -hmm. minutes at a time before you got to do anything yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. In my turn, and it just, it just felt. And then if quick. you were fighting a boss, mm -hmm. by the time it got to your turn, you're like, oh, I'm out of stamina mm -hmm. and health. I can't do anything. Yeah, I, I wonder how much time uh, they had once you purchased the license because, you know, I know this because I'm dealing with, you know, making my own board game and, and when, when, you, when you have a license, you have a limited amount of time to develop the game. And it, what this feels like to me is that it's incredible in some places. Like, oh, yeah. it makes me smile, it makes me like, this is so cool and, you know, uh, like money well spent. And then in other places, it, it's really disappointing and puzzling some of the choices that were made. And it feels maybe like they didn't have enough time to flesh out those mechanics. So they laid in pretty much a standard mechanic that would have been acceptable uh, 10 to 20 years ago because I've been playing games a long time. Yeah. Uh, but in today's market and board games, people are demanding faster games with more simultaneous play uh, that always keeps the player engaged. 10, 20 years ago, this downtime stuff they're talking about, they wouldn't have said that because it just happened, you know, we're yeah. drinking and we're having a good time and stuff, but people, as we get older, our time becomes more valuable. Anyways, so a lot of really good stuff here and a lot of really bad stuff here. So what I would say is it's uneven, you know what yeah. I'm saying? In that way. So the miniatures, like fucking 10 out of 10, man. We're at like 9 or 10 out of 10 on the miniatures. These cards are, are amazing. Yeah, the cards. You could tell they went through a lot of effort on making all of the items in Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 3. There's got, there's, there's just, at least three games. This, this, this is a lot like, of, uh, a lot of stuff. There's no way, this is like every game. Yeah, because it's fucking I can, crazy. I can it's pull great. this right now and it's be great. like, this is everything in one game. Yeah, it's great. Um, now, the things that I didn't like, it, just like they said, it's way too much downtime. We're talking, this is not, you know, this is a four to five hour game. This is a at four least. to five hour game. Well, I mean, we spent like th at least three hours just yeah. getting to the mini boss. So you actually, your first <laughs> game is probably legit six hours. Yeah, I'd say more than and that. No, 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 I'm gonna say six hours if you're a board gamer. If you're a non-board gamer, don't, don't even don't even buy this. <laughs> Two weeks! <laughs> Unless you have a board game group. <laughs> or no, actually, if you're a non-board gamer, you could do it, but you would play it through your yourself first. Play one solo, player. Yeah. Then start to bring in players. Yeah. Because it, it has a pretty big learning curve. Yep. But so does Dark Souls. So I don't think that's going to bother a lot of Dark Souls players. Uh, that it has a high learning curve, but yeah, the hours that it's going to take you to play this game, and then it'll get cut down, you know, after you play more and more, say, but I think even if you know everything, even if you're an expert, I think it's a three-hour game. Oh, yeah. There's no way it's 90 minutes. I would no, say there's even, there's no way because it takes that long just to get to the mini boss at least even if you're speeding through. You'd be I'd die say, instantly. I'd say it took us three hours. I'd say even more considering mm -hmm. we were only like forty percent through. You have to also like grinding, yep. uh, where which is basically the same combat over and over. 
and in, in uh, and and it's and I, you're you're rolling very low amounts of dice mm -hmm. at, at, be, at the beginning, which to me isn't very exciting. Uh, but they're trying to simulate something. They're trying to simulate your character arc where you start very weak, you go back to camp, you get stronger, you come back, you're rolling more dice. Now you're rolling orange dice. Now you're rolling blue dice. That's cool. But like we said, this coming back to the bonfire mechanic is where the game started to fall apart because the deck, treasure deck, isn't yeah. broken down into tiers. It's definitely because not. it's not broken down into tiers, there's so much. Oh, I'm sorry. There's so much that you're not going to be able to use when you come back out. Yeah. And that one fix would have probably fixed the game, honestly. Because you grind, you come out, and you come out stronger. You're rolling more dice. You're going to rip through it in half oh, as yeah. much time. I mean, half of the fun of the game is getting the items to upgrade mm -hmm. your character. Yeah, so if you get an it's item that's like tier though. four, it's like, oh, that's nice. It's worth saying yeah. that the strongest weapon I've seen so far is four dice. That's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And so, even at max weapon, you're going to do four dice. Yeah. Unless you're using both weapons in both hands, mm -hmm. you're going to do four dice. Yeah. No matter what. I, I really want to see the PvP. Now, I, I kick-started the game because I, I, so I, I. I, I like the Dark Souls, I like the miniatures. Uh, for me, there's enough value in the box that I don't mind. Um, and me and my group, we always house rule board games a lot anyway. Uh, so if there's anything in here that we don't like, we can fix. So for me, I didn't waste my money. However, first impression, wow, this is pretty long. Uh, and I probably would have chose a few mechanics differently. So yeah, I'm going to say um, average as well. Yeah. So the way to put it is... Slightly what? above average uh, for me in production quality. Oh, yeah. You've, you've really yeah. Uh, put a lot of time and effort into yeah, that. Yeah, that's why I went up but to a 7. But if you were playing this game great. with yeah. your four friends, if you were playing the actual game... Mm -hmm. You would have so much more fun playing with four people at the same time. Yeah. Because you're all just running around doing stuff all the time. Here, here's another thing. I, I um, I didn't end up hating this node mechanic because this no this movement node mechanic is not used by any other board game I have here. Oh, and okay. I always I always like uh, new mechanics. I respect new mechanics. So I came in thinking I'm gonna hate this node shit. I didn't hate it. However. As time went on, and when it comes to the bosses, because of the way the miniatures are shaped and because they're so big, it started to get real messy when, when you're trying to look at the different spaces and stuff. So then I liked it a little bit less, but it's a little, uh, but, but I can deal with it. So the node system is unique, but I think, you know, you probably could have gone with a traditional one and it being a little bit cleaner on that node system. Um, so... Uh, uh, treasure cards, node system, and length. You fix that, and you've got yourself the potential for a freaking 10 out of 10, I honestly. mean, to be fair, if I went through... If they did simultaneous shit in here, or did what Beard did. Let's yeah. take Beard's feedback. You don't have to do the monsters every... or You know, to, that, that bloats the game times three. Find a quicker mechanic there. Tier these decks. And... That's it. Just tear these decks, do that, and the nodes are fine. You know, that would just be a, a, another little tweak in the right direction. Give every single monster mm -hmm. AoE attacks because that's how the game works. Yeah. And then well, you... the, the, the one thing we didn't really get to talk about was the boss mechanic. I really like that. I do. That is so cool. In fact, this is this board game has what I think is probably the coolest boss mechanic that I've played in the sense that, you know, the boss has an attack pattern just like a video game. And so you know where the weaknesses are to kind of go in there. And I thought that was really cool because it felt like the video game. It felt like, you know, it was like, oh shit, where's he gonna go? There's that tension. And we almost won. No, you're, you're, you're messing around with the mic. Yeah, I know. It's I, in my ear. I dropped it. All right. Uh, and then, but then the boss gets pissed off and then like, then everything gets shuffled. Yeah, he goes like, phase ah, two. Ah, phase yeah. two, yeah. Which is fine, so as long as you've grinded a lot because you can handle it. But in that instance, it, it fucked us up. So with like the but, normal monsters, yeah. give them like five times their health, make them do one attack phase, make them do AOE on everything, mm -hmm. and limit the game down to like two people. Because four players, you can't cheat. The system, no. I understand. The I, I like the four player I like thing. four players, dude. I think cooperative as well uh, is, is, is way cooler. But like we four. need to address the issues that, that, that you know Beard and Joe brought up is uh, they weren't doing anything. Better Luke. Joe was not doing jack shit. <laughs> 
and then the loot. So you do those two things and you fix Well, if you had gotten the offensive spells, you oh, would have yeah, been fine. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, but but it was it's because the loot was all messed yeah. up that you could never get anything that and you I could actually use. And I got this one, but it's going to take me a while. Yeah, the other to thing upgrade. to point out yeah. is even though the enemies were attacking every other turn, we were barely getting hurt on the NPCs, and we were still like one shotting them. If we all did simultaneous and the enemies only attacked once, they would die so fast unless they had retarded health. Like they would have to have retarded amounts of health. To be able to fight them all at once. Like, if we all attacked, then they attacked once, then we all attacked, and they attacked. There's no way to balance four people hitting one guy. That's yeah, there is. No, there's like... There's other co-op games like there's that. There's other co-op. I have plenty of those. But, I'm, but we don't want to talk I mean, like, weak guys. Into, what's that? If you had, like, a weak guy mm -hmm. in a room, and all four of us were attacking him, he would just die. Then it would be like the video yeah. game. You, you, you're not... Uh, there... I can... Okay, do you want me to explain the several mechanics? Nah, that, let's... That could let's get around not. that? Okay. Because there are other board games that, that have that, where you're rolling a little bit more dice, the, the enemies have more defensive dice, so there's a higher chance that they'll block all your hits and they'll remain on the board, and you continue to attack them until they're eliminated off the board. Um, but that would make you one, feel bad. N no, it wouldn't make you feel bad. If you're rolling lots of dice... Okay, well, anyway, we're, we're getting into different yeah. game design discussion, because there's other ways to counter that feel bad feel, especially with character special abilities and things like that that they have in dungeon crawlers this one is like a dungeon crawler but it's unlike any other dungeon crawler i've ever played because the loot you know that you have to go back here but that simulates the video game where you have to go back to the bonfire i'd rather just play the game you'd rather just pull, for pull, sure play it all the way out yeah and never go back to the bonfire no no play the normal game like the video game but this uh, well Del, well, come on, man. <laughs> that's not fair, number one, because if that's the case, then yeah. I'm, uh, if any board game that comes out, I'd rather play the video game. That's easy to say. I mean, if this they're banking on the IP, experience. the experience should be as fun yeah. as the video game. No, or it should offer something yeah. different. Because in my, because now I feel like you're insulting my game about to come out. <laughs> Street Fighter, the oh, board game. Like, why the fuck would I want to play you Street Fighter, the board different. game, if we, if I'm just gonna go play Street Fighter, the video game? You, you offer have completely offer... different. In this game, you're doing the same <laughs> shit. You're dying and grinding. Oh, I see. What you're and saying. it's like if I'm gonna do you're that, right? Yeah, you are right. Ah, because it's recreating yeah. the system instead of adding kind of a new For thing sure. to it. They went, yeah, they could have gone two directions. Yep. In, in our game, what we actually did is we went in both directions at the same time. We're offering stuff that you can't do in Street Fighter, four player, six player simultaneous arena battles yep. in the Street Fighter miniatures game. You can't do that in here. In here, what can you do that you can't do in the video game? Nothing. It's really? The exact I, same. I haven't played Dark Souls It's 3. the exact same experience with like five times the time added on. Okay. There is nothing different. All right, well, that's just... Okay, then that's the direction that they took. And yeah. you're saying... And that's why you would say yeah. you'd rather play the video game. Because, I mean, there's okay. there's nothing... I mean, you don't roll that's dice, fair. for example, but, like, mm -hmm. everything we did, mm -hmm. you do simultaneously in the game with your friends. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, you die... Well, you can't have four-player cooperative. Yes, in, you can. You can? Yep. I didn't know that. Yep. It's like invading other people's games. You can have up to, I believe, eight people right now in a game. Not all friendly, like three invaders, four normal people, mm -hmm. and, and an extra invader. But you, you, you can definitely do it all at once and just mow down a boss. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, thanks guys for watching and coming out. We'll probably do maybe Dark Souls one more time. Um, I've got um, uh, a. a what, what is, uh, Dar uh, Dawn of War 3 is releasing next week. Yeah, uh, yeah. So is Mario Kart on the Switch. So I'll probably be doing some streams of Mario Kart because uh, Luna's here and she'll probably kick our ass at it. <laughs> no, <laughs> not this time. Not this time. Not not this Smash time? Bros. okay, not yeah. Mario Kart. I got this. No, mm -hmm. she kicks our I ass got Mario this, Kart. son. <laughs> it's because me and Joe, we only play at 100 CCs or 50, 50 to 100 CCs. I play CCs. to 5,000. 5,000 CCs? I moved up. Not, there's no 5,000 cc. 5,000 cc, Joe. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we shall see you on the next Angry Joe show. What day is it? Tomorrow. Friday. 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 Tomorrow. Friday. Friday. We are not doing a game oh, no, tomorrow. No. Tomorrow, I can't. I'm not streaming. We have to we go to, have a to, wedding, go to our bro. friend's so I wedding. I'm streaming tomorrow, guys. But thank you so much for coming out. And to those who watched, donated, uh, followed, or did all that uh, cool shit, thank you very much. 
Uh, let me see if there's anybody I missed. Uh, there was Shark Filet. Thank you for the four months. I don't understand Much why love they didn't do that. Larry oh. Layla for 31 months. Thank you very much, guys. Okay. See y'all later. Bye. Bye-bye.